We're getting started because we've dealt with fucky wuckies. Yeah, because my computer is a bitch. A bit of a bitch. A little bit. I'm sorry, Noel. That was rude, but you know it's true. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't been updated for four years and were made with primarily old parts. Because I'm a cheap uh, bastard. Poor lady. Check out my yeah. gamer rig. It glows. I don't have the colors on right now. But it glows, which means I'm cool and pog and champ. These are all true things. If you want to rob Craig, they'll be my guest. <laughs> <laughs> And then we wouldn't have most of the higher quality games running. Yeah. No offense, but most of the computers uh, can't run. You shit. see, that doesn't that doesn't detract from me wanting you to eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what if I stole your computer. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look out! I'm I'm actually calling from inside. Craig's birthday package, which is going to be arriving probably tomorrow. Ah, so, um, so I am just going to bust out and steal your PC. Equal <laughs> in exchange. Hide ever anything you don't want me to see now. Didn't we already make the show where you would already be in the, P the box? Yes. Yeah, but now he's in the box with an objective. Yeah. <laughs> First, I was just going to give you a little kissy. But now, I'm gonna give you a little kissy and then steal your shit. <laughs> <laughs> I open the box, your face is there, I hit you with a bat. Oh no. <laughs> uh, but surprise, I was right under him! I'm also in the box! Ah, <laughs> uh, surprise, the bat still works! <laughs> but you're too surprised to swing it. Let's tell you the game. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, did, it, did did you guys tell the tweeter right? Uh, yeah, I told I Twitter. Did, I did Discord. All right, yeah. good. And let me retweet my tweet of the tweet onto the other tweet. Twit tweet. Ah, uh, tweetly. Yeah. Beep beep. Retweet. Tweetly. Beep. Hi swap. Swapping hives, baby. Oh, that pretty sky. Hmm. Hogship. Right. Yeah. Uh, you do the same. Who's <laughs> narrating now? Uh, I, since we're sharing through Discord, I can still narrate if you want me to. Yeah, I think to keep it all, you know, uh, cohesive and consistent, Leo yeah. should still be our main narrator. Cool. All right. Your name is. Sorry, you're going to need a minute. Dots. Everyone take a deep breath. <gasps> and out. Oh, I already let it out. <laughs> <laughs> this, this has been meditation with the planetarium. Yeah. <laughs> we are all very calm and peaceful. Uh... We're a very zen group, We're very if you zen. can tell. Yeah. We're chill. Never. We got... Eh. We never freak out on stream. Never ever. <laughs> Nothing never happened. ever goes wrong. <laughs> uh, okay. Give yourself a minute to freak out. 
because of the monster. The thing with all the legs and teeth. The one you barely got away from. Minutes up, though. You take a deep breath, let the uncertainty slip away into the toothy, arm-waggling darkness, and focus on what you know. Your name is Joey Clare. You live just outside the town of Hauntswitch. You are, in no particular order, a puzzle solver, a semi-orphan, a dancer of multiple schools, an aspiring veterinarian, and a big sister. Speaking of, that monster, the one that barely missed eating you alive, only you're not thinking about that right now. It might be headed back outside, where your little brother is. You gotta warn him. Alright. We're- everything's looking good, right guys? Yeah. Also, I think my title for the stream is very funny. It's very good. <laughs> now I'm gonna click on everything. Good. <laughs> oh yeah, you weren't here for the very click. beginning. Yeah. Yeah, you also weren't here for the very start, so you should. Yeah. Uh, your babysitter gave you this for your birthday. Joey, she said, this wizard's the best. She lives in his little wizardy orb, just swimming in spells and glitter. He will protect you. Look, he's doing it right now. Your babysitter loves wizards, obviously. She's pretty great. Pretty pog, I like her. Pretty yeah. pogged champ. Overall, anyway. I want all of these stars. Yeah. I can't cl click on the little scope. Boo. I want to see what fucking things we got in there. It's easy to make your very own cake or something like that. You were really excited to get this stuff for your birthday last year, but you ran out of the baking stuff pretty quick. You could use regular sugar and flour or whatever, but it's not like you have those things just sitting around. Who does, honestly? People with moms, you guess? <laughs> Bake. You're all out of the baking stuff. You're not too busted up about it, though. You're pretty tough. Handling it bravely, Joey. Along with ballet, you also study tap dancing. You haven't decided which you prefer. Ballet is fun, but tap's also fun in a different kind of way. I should get back into tap dancing. I love okay. that. You've considered blending the two, wearing one tap shoe and one ballet shoe at the same time, but decided to fully master both and earn the respect of your teachers before unveiling your boundary-shattering ballap style to the world. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing it. Yeah. Yoink. Add the tap dance abilitech to your techniche. Yep, those are the words that refer to those concepts. You learned them literally just now. Perfect. <laughs> These will help if there's anything you need to shake up or shake off, or if you're just in the mood to shake it. Shake it, baby. I'm dying. Stop. Don't do that. <laughs> the 11th of November. Today started off just like any other day, with another sunrise and the sound of songbirds going hog wild out there in the trees. But their songs have all but stopped, and now there's something else going hog wild out there. You don't know what it is, but it sure ain't birds, and it sure as heck ain't hogs. Mark. You've already marked today's date as part of your daily routine. If anyone claims that you didn't exist on the date of November 10th, 1994, you can shove that big red X right in their face and prove them wrong. Yeah. Own them. Get them. Get fucked. Mom won this award at around the same age as you for being best at ballet. It's pretty. Those posters. They resonate so powerfully with the core of your being. The animals, the magic, the power. They whisper to you in your dreams. Secrets of a better world on the other side of the stars. Nice. I got peach seltzer with me, man. I'm feeling happy. Is there anything else on your bookshelf? Uh, Books. Book. Oh. You've got more pressing concerns right now than the book report you have to hand in on Monday. Besides, none of these books are appropriate choices for a book report, according to your teachers. Your teacher seems 
oddly fixated on award-winning books where beloved dogs are introduced and that inevitably die. Kinda hate your teachers sometimes. <laughs> Often. Mm. Alright, that's the same. Yeah. I can't get the box. Too or, short. <laughs> or, uh, be smart and climb up the bookcase like I would have done. Wanna try Excellent tapping? Excellent point. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Tap at it. Do some dancing. You've got a couple books on the subject, but tap dancing, the preferred hot stepping of the unpretentious working class, has largely been snubbed by the literary elite. <laughs> they don't give ballet trophies for tap dancing, but if they did, you might just win one of these yourself someday. Or maybe you'll win one for your ballet. You decide to dream big. You can do it, Billy, I believe in you. Look at me, wizard! You do a few steps from Twirlin' Merlin, your thus far unfinished showcase of wizard-themed dancing. This one's the Pyromancer's Hot Step. <laughs> Woo! Silent. Uh... Wait. Talk about hot stepping. Well, lukewarm stepping. <laughs> Alright, what else have we got? Uh, we can't, we can't eat the crayons. Lame. Uh, okay, wait, that's a bed. Can I? We got all these funky guys. So let's look at the bed. This is a raised and cushioned platform where you spend several hours every day unconscious and hallucinating, <laughs> usually while the majority of other people on the continent are also doing the same thing. Man, what do you call it? Unconscious and hallucinating? <laughs> that was so violent sleeping. <laughs> Man, are you I... not going to meet your stuffy friends? Uh, no, I'm just looking around the room because I love how her room is. I just love the sh like words escape me. The glow in the dark stars and the well, Lisa yeah. Frank bullshit. I, I love shape? yeah, like just this general shape of it. I love this like raised surface. Her bed being right here. The fucking slant. The window. Oh, the li the little sleepy nook, yeah. Yeah, the fuck that. I love I love this fucking huge window over here. We'll get to that later. Yeah, her room is rad. We'll go mm -hmm. in sequences. The things I would do for Miss Jelly's room. Yeah. Look. Puppy surprise is having puppies. How many? That's the surprise. Puppy surprise. Puppy surprise. <laughs> Ugh. Whenever you look at this thing, the song from that commercial runs through your head like a snake monster on an autumn <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> it's a great place to stash your keepsakes, where they stay as safe as a teen hiding in her bedroom from a snake monster. Mm. <laughs> you reach inside the, the expectant plush canine and... Mm. <laughs> Puppy Surprise is having puppies! Ah. C-section. Ah. ah, yes. No one would ever think to look for your precious diary key inside a plush mother dog. Least of all your brother, who was upset he didn't get one of the puppies. Jude can be pretty melodramatic. Why would you want one? Uh, I hate speak. their big ass anime eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't they have it looks like they have lips and I don't like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of precious keys, there's also a beautiful old trinket that used to belong to your mom. You have no idea what it is, and but looking at it reminds you of her. Honestly, you're not sure you'd be comfortable leaving it here with everything that's going on. You collect the diary key from its plush hiding womb. While you're at it, you think maybe you should keep this beautiful heirloom of your mom's close. This, For plot reasons. This entire <laughs> fucking screen is giving me psychic damage. Let's yeah. get through it, then. <laughs> Just a feeling. Yeah, it's a, horrible. A deep, inexplicable, impossible to ignore feeling. Yay, it's gone. Huzzah! Let's tap at it. into her gaping gut. <laughs> <laughs> you show your loving puppy surprise your razzle-dazzle. 
She doesn't say anything, but you can tell she's pretty floored. <laughs> it's too soft to get any good acoustics for your tapping. Mm. They should be pretty safe up on the shelf, which is the point of shelves, you suppose. They're a very appreciative audience, as always. Surprisingly, no one fell off the shelf this time. Hint. <laughs> <laughs> Wink. Oh shit, is that one of those fuckers from that old cartoon? Yeah, uh, I was gonna say, like, the Toy Story aliens. Yeah. Nah, snorks, not a fucking the snorks. I think I know what you're talking about. Google, what's a snork? Oh, that is that does sure look like a snork, huh? Ah, uh, am I right? Am I correct? Yeah, I think you're correct. Well, I'll post a picture of a snork for me. Okay. Copy image. Smurf fan oh, and wiki. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a snork. Yeah. A snork with a. Yeah, I've on. seen this. I've seen this on Boomerang. They wear clothes. Yeah, but not that one, the picture he posted, is shirtless. And the one in game has a shirt on. <laughs> Why is that one so naked, I wonder? It's like all the other ones wear tons of clothes. <laughs> Can anyone in chat tell us about snork fucking lore? Please. Please tell us the snork lore. Like, we look need at to them. know. One of them is a doctor. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> All right, let's fucking continue. Lamp. Uh, you try to remember if Clarissa ever got in any jams like this. You have so much in common. Annoying little brother, computer in your room, uh, second story bedroom. Uh, as much as you hate to admit it, Clarissa's life deviates from yours on a number of vertices. Her parents were around, she had a cool friend who was a boy, but not her boyfriend, no monsters in the yard, etc. Well, can you do this? <laughs> Sigh. You had a whole choreographed routine for the Clarissa theme song. Two, in fact. One tap, one ballet. But ever since the show ended last month, it just makes you sad. <laughs> oh well, Alex Mack is pretty cool too, you guess. God. It looks like you might miss tomorrow's episode, though. Well, whatever, the preview said it was going to be a dumb big dance plot. You hate those. Man, I know it was like, you know, like... I know what the big dance plot is, like, you know, oh, I have no one to go to dance, but my brain was just like, ah, the business, big dance. <laughs> <laughs> Always stepping on the little guys. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one set. One Mississippi. Ah. It has been a second. Leo has now been summarily consumed by the worm. The worm! <laughs> the worm! Alright. I like that little dude right there. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Look at that dude. Look He's just him. a little fella. He, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your babysitter got you this junior veterinarian's med kit. It's kind of important to you, so you think you'll leave it here for now. It would really bust you up if something happened to it. Cha -cha. Come on. You guess, one day you'll have to choose which dream to follow. Do you want to be a veterinarian who also dances a lot, or a world-class dancer who volunteers at animal at an animal clinic in her spare time? You can't have it both ways. <laughs> but... <laughs> Pause it. This is where you keep your clothes. You consider your fashion statement to be fun and comfortable, and try to model yourself on Clarissa. Ah, uh, Clarissa. She really does explain quite a few things, except, of course, precisely where she gets her clothes, 
and how she manages to look so great all the time. You guys ever watch the show she's talking about? I no, <laughs> no. Have no what, clue. what year was this? Nineteen whatever. Ninety four. Yeah. So I mean, they, Alex Mack still ran when I was a little when I was a little baby child. Yeah. Uh, so reruns could have happened for this that I just don't remember. I have no clue about either of those things. Wasn't yeah. Alex Mack the one about the like girl with powers? Uh, Alex Mack. The Secret World of Alex Mack. Yeah, The Secret World of Alex Mack. Not Alex Mack, the football man. <laughs> or the football location? <laughs> football center. The se Oh, that's a that's a position in sports. I know things. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, she's nearly hit by a truck, classic superhero accident, and she gets powers. Oh, like the Zombieland saga, except she gets she she didn't get hit by the truck. No, it's more it's more like Daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, do the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles get created there too? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um, My yeah, her powers no are telekinesis, shooting electricity, dissolving into a mobile puddle of water. Sometimes her skin glows yellow when she's nervous. Well, that's yeah, I remember this show pretty, yeah, I remember this show pretty clearly, and it came out the same year Clarissa ended, apparently. Huh. So. What fun and I wasn't alive for either of them. lore we're learning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When you're not actively or imminently hot-stepping, your tap shoes are hanging up by the door. You know this because that's where you got them from a little while ago, and also because this is your own personal habit. <laughs> Let's get changed. You could try on some new clothes, but what's a style montage without at least one party offering compulsory reaction shots for each outfit? Who's going to give you an affirming head nod when you finally nail it? These are important things to consider before you carelessly plunge headlong into a style montage. Man, I really want it when we click change to just go into like a shitty flash game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shitty dress up flash game. God, those things were horrible. <laughs> I like to play a lot of them. Yeah, I mean, so did I, but they weren't the best. I don't know. I guess yeah. It's where did you find your dress up games? <laughs> <laughs> Shitty flash sites. Yeah, I just Googled that would give flash me viruses. I, yeah, I just Googled dress up games. Uh, I was bougie. <laughs> I went and got the good one. <laughs> well, that plus Fantage. Oh, yes, yeah, also Fantage. Yeah. Which was shitty, but in a different way. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, I loved you, Fantage. Your walkie-talkie, half of a set. Your brother has the other one. Could come in handy. Are those jacks on the floor? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Feels a little light. Oh, uh-oh. Yep, no batteries. You remember cannibalizing the walkie-talkie when something else needed them, but you can't recall exactly what that something else was. Technology. Your modem always makes a mighty racket logging you on. Probably not worth riling up any hallway monsters to surf your sights right now. It's not like there's much new to see anyway. You're sure that Jude would have let you know if anyone in your web ring had updated their sights. Oh man. Uh, 1994. Old. <laughs> it has no effect. Maybe try tapping the keys next time instead of tapping your feet. <laughs> <laughs> one day you hope to be a veterinarian, then you be the one caring for the fuzzy-faced baby critters. So when someone catches you in the act of snuggling them all and tells you to take a hike, you can flash your vet badge and say you're here on professional medical business. Then they'll have to take the hike, not you. Owned! <laughs> Fucking got him. <laughs> You know, if I could take care of one animal, I, I think it would be 
very cute for other people to look at me taking care of pandas. Because pandas are stupid as shit. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You know, if I ever, like, see you taking care of a panda, I'm not going to say all I'm going to think about that time you said pandas were stupid and shit on screen. <laughs> <laughs> They're not smart animals. No, yeah, but... <laughs> like koalas. Yeah. Koalas yeah. Are fucking stupid. <laughs> They're at least smarter than koalas. Yeah. Which, you know, really... is it a high bar to meet, but, you know, it's good. <laughs> If yeah, you lay I mean, a food starfish down... is smarter than a koala. Yeah. Uh, Fucking koalas, man. Eggy on her desk. What is that? What? Did you guys ever have a Tamagotchi? I'm looking at the egg on her desk. I don't think it's anything, but... Did you guys have Tamagotchi? Uh, my no. cousin did. I wanted one, but I, I didn't. I got... What the fuck was that thing? It was like a Neopets Tamagotchi. But it had like tur tur turmeric roll. The the one where the guy rolls and you make him jump. I don't it's know. not turmeric. Turmeric is a spice. <laughs> hmm. I was gonna say <laughs> turmeric roll. That's it. Okay. No. Yes. Neopets Tamagotchi. Um, there was like a run of them. Pocket Aisha. God, they were big. Mm. Yeah, it was a big thing. Here's the one. Here's the one I had. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is important. Vintage 2003. Oh. All right. Sounds like a great way to startle some baby animals. You're having none of it. Yeah, let me put this on stream so everyone can see this ch fucking chunk. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> oh man, that's a tiny image. It's the size of Joey. <laughs> Wheela? Oh wait. Oh, yeah, fuck, the game we're playing. How much on? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Should I right, buy I this know. shit on eBay? No! <laughs> oh, I don't, I I don't want can it. Can you trust yourself to take care of it? No. Uh, don't get it then. You'll make it oh suffer. Oh my god, are my Neopets okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, are you okay? Oh no, they're crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry! Positive effect, ding libet. I love you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Eat this omelet. I'm sorry. Uh, I can't check the drawers on this com the computer's desk. Bullshit. Unfortunate. Let me turn off the computer. 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 Oh, computer. I'm a computer. <laughs> I'm a computer -y guy. This is Sir Bappy Pawswater, your beloved manthro chap. You tend to his fussy whims and needs when you trouble to imagine what they might be. What a daring dream to combine the finest qualities of the animal kingdom with the nobility of humanimals. Wait, you mean humanity. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Sir Bappy Pawswater will have to tend to his own fussy whims and needs for a while. You've got a lot of crap on your plate right now. Oh, crap in front of Sir Bappy? Yeah, dang. <laughs> Sir Boppy Poss... Posswater uh, disdains tap dancing, which she calls the staccato stumbling of the plebeian herd, and wow, that stings. Man, it wouldn't be anything homesack related without some fucking typos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, uh... Ah, shit, are those fucking little, like, troll doll scents? Ah, they got covered up in this new screen transition. Ah. But we do got some My Little Pwn Bees. Yeah, yeah, look the at classics. that guy! Oh, yeah! He's soft looking. He's yeah. just sitting. Man, look at all these posters. Yeah. Lots of references to things I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Hot steppin'. You don't really perform the styles of dance that make this movie such a pulse-pounding barn burner of a smash hit, 
but you'd certainly like to someday. Uh, no, that's not tap dance. Tap dance is great and fun, but it's like doing your taxes at church compared to what's going on at that poster. <laughs> the story keeps happening! Just look at that childlike empress. She sure looks pretty pleased with herself for someone who's only in the movie for about five minutes. <laughs> oh, hey, that's straight up Bubsy. Yeah. Yeah, I, all these things are real. Well, yeah. <laughs> well most of them are. Yeah, but they're like parodies, it seems, for a lot of them. But like, that's just straight up Bubsy. Yeah. You had a routine inspired by this movie, but it was just way too long. I guess you could say it felt always not stopping. <laughs> the bounty hunter's advice for dealing with monsters would probably be to shoot them, or change your shape, or both at once. She's cool, but pretty difficult to emulate. Ah. The bounty hunter would be pretty excellent at any style that featured a turn into a ball in mid-air maneuver. And what style wouldn't benefit from such a maneuver? Why, none of them! <laughs> Ginger Rogers. Gosh, she's really something. The greatest tap dancer who ever clattered gracefully across the screen, probably? No, wait, definitely. And still kicking. Yeah. You're tap dancing idol, of course, after your mom, but Ginger's a close second. She's just amazing. Canadian Campfire Spookums is the best. It's about these kids who get together in the woods every week, and one of them throws some dust in a fire, and then they tell a scary story, and that scary story is the episode. You guess you kind of focus more on the framing narrative than you did on the stories, but whatever the best, just like he said. I've heard there are some pretty good uh, spooky stories in that show. You know. Yeah. What if you just couldn't stop dancing? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, like the dancing plague. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that fucked up how that was a real thing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That'd be scary, if it didn't describe your life already. Joey Claire extraordinaire! Good for you. Nice. <laughs> so good, Joey. Yeah. Acorn's shadow is surprisingly dark for a show about a group of horse friends. It canters down some troubling psychological roads. Wouldn't be homestuck without horses, either. Mm-hmm. And troubling psychological roads. <laughs> 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 Clopping their hoof is how horses count, except the titular acorn shadow, of course. It's too busy burning the land with galloping green flames to do horsey math tricks. <laughs> Magical Animal Companion Heel Rescue is your favorite Japanimation. It's about this girl, Shika, who goes to school sometimes and has a regular life. Boring, yeah, but... Whenever a magical animal has been hurt, Shika becomes Princess Shika and rides her dear companion to go heal them. Yeah, um, this would have been my shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the whole thing. It's great. No fighting, just healing. You love it. Tap. Oh, Princess Shika could never be a tap dancer. Her feet end in deer hooves. She just couldn't get the right percussion with those velvety things. What is that? You love Block Hustle, the game of descending columns that disappear as lines are filled, but, uh, you could only find a poster of the American box art. This is why it looks so gritty. <laughs> <laughs> Tetris with a gun. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, the music in Block Hustle is perfect for tap dancing, but you have to play the game in order to hear it, and that's distracting. You tried having Jude play while you worked out a routine, but he refused to play ever since he found out the game is a Russian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Craig, since you noticed her troll dolls before, she does have a troll sticker on her closet. Ah. Oh. Or that thing, whatever that is. Yeah. There are a lot of mixed-in parodies and real stuff in here. 
as his homestuck. Mm, yeah. What could possibly go wrong? That's what Bubsy would say if you were here. He'd never stop saying it. You'd hear it in your head forever, echoing like screams echo across still water. <laughs> yeah, it's just straight up Bubsy. Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah, it's just straight up Bubsy. <laughs> Is that- no. is your mind broken yet? <laughs> Bubsy can exist in this world. Yeah. yeah. Bubsy- Bubsy canonically exists. <laughs> no one can dance to the Bubsy theme. Not even Bubsy. He just thrashes around like a jerk, then smirks at you. Like he just totally blew your mind. <laughs> Why do you have this poster, Joey? <laughs> it doesn't sound like you really like Bubsy. I don't know who it is- who he is. I don't know his crimes. Bubsy. Sometimes you hate living in the 90s. Also, his crimes are money. existing. <laughs> <laughs> uh... This game is only available in Japan, but there's this kid at school who says his uncle works at a games company. <laughs> and he says, uh, he says he gets to play all sorts of secret games before they even come out here. He runs off at the mouth like he has all this insider information and sources right inside the game that. companies. Okay. But honestly, you think he's just desperate for attention. You tend to ignore him and focus on more pleasant things like this super cool poster. Second Mom Rules. Boy, I wonder what that could be a reference to. Who knows? Who knows? It's a mystery. It's a mystery. ha, -ha. This game apparently has really cool music. By searching online, you were able to briefly hear a few seconds of it. The download only took you a few hours. Wow, living in the future is amazing. <laughs> Cut to me downloading this game half an hour ago in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> uh, technology sure is amazing. Hungry, hungry hippo. Yeah. You love your video game console. You're a computer games enthusiast at heart, but you can't help but enjoy the tactile sensation of a controller in your hand as you fight evil and save animals and etc. Lots of etc. Video game. Mm. A prodigious collection of titles for your console's hungry cartridge-shaped mouth. All the best ones are here. Well, all the ones you happen to own are here. You could spend all day listing them. There's Bubsy, there's... Mentioning Bubsy made you feel a little queasy, so you think you'll stop there. You might go lie down for a bit, actually. <laughs> the mere <laughs> mention of Bubsy and you're just like... <sighs> oh man, gotta go. Uh... And send them clattering? No way! Can I look at these ones? Alright. Oh, I never tap dance at the new, the not Tendo. It tends to make your game freeze. Alas, the only downside of cartridge-based gaming. Yes, the only downside. <laughs> the only one. Mm-hmm. Look at these. Ah, cool. <laughs> Jerry yeah. got one of those pens. Yeah, yeah I got I one of those, those with a Pikachu on it. Nice. Yeah, I love those pens. Oh, also, I feel like Dave uh, meeting Dirk and them for the first time in his movie, we hate water here. It's like, we hate Bubsy here? Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know who he is, but fuck him. <laughs> we hate Bubsy and we hate water. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, uh... Bubsy sucks. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Bubsy hates stream. Uh, he he's known for making one of the worst three D platformers ever. Listen, listen, I don't need to know him to hate him. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at him. Yeah. yeah. That's all you need. Look at him and know he canonically does not shut the fuck up. <laughs> That little girl there, she's destined for big things. Big hopes, big fears, big worries, big lonelinesses. I got big sad, big fast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now hold on, pull yourself together. What would your mom say if she knew you were thinking like that? 
You really wish you knew. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look at the dog. Look at the dog. Puppy. Thank you. Thank you. Puppy. Tap dancing actually freaks your dog out pretty badly. You suppose it's the ribble, the the rippled firework-like percussion of your toes and heels clacking against the hardwood floor that does it. In fact, you don't even have to suppose. You're pretty much certain. <laughs> Since she's been gone, you've been less and less, uh, you've seen less and less of Pa over the years. Guess he had greener pastures to move on to, or bluer beauties. Wait, 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 wait. Tap dance. Your mom was a great dancer. Tap, swing, ballroom, bolero, even wild experimental stuff like contact improvisation. Improvis- the <laughs> Improvisation. <laughs> Ballet was her passion, though, and she was transcendent. You usually don't have much to record in here on account of the humdrum life you lead, but you think today will be a different story. Well. Maybe you should take a moment to record a note now, just in case this is your last chance to set down your final words before your tragic demise at the hands of a horrible, snaky thing. I know it's locked, but I just want to see this. It's locked! If you wish to gain access to your long-buried or recently-buried secrets, you'll have to use the diary key. Whoa. Ah. You unlock and open your diary. Nice, juicy secrets. Here you come. Except they're just your boring secrets, so you don't care. <laughs> Let's take a look. I uh, don't have much to... Uh... Record in here on account of the humdrum life you lead, but you think okay, today will yeah. be a different story. That's the same. Dig, same. Yeah. Ink. How late was it that you made us call him Pa instead of Dad while we were growing up? Choosing your own parental nickname? Yeah, cringe. cringe. That's what my grandma did. I can't believe I haven't recorded in here since the beginning of last summer. Say it's been. Well, I've been two. back to school. Yeah, yeah, I've been back. To... Oh gosh, her handwriting's so loopy. Yeah. yeah, I've been back to school. Next, next summer. summer. Can't. Um, something, something. Came home to a drunk babysitter again today. I like how it actually, like, the pen drawings look like they've been bleeding a little bit. Mm. You know, ballpoint pen sucks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure, some quality adult supervision uh, us youngsters are getting around here. She means well enough, though. I miss mom. Mm. I like um, the, I the fuck ups. Too. Yeah. And I like the scribbly drawings. But are you saying? Did I tell you guys about my grandma picking her own nickname? No. I don't think so. Uh, it was a bit of a mix, cause um, my- one of my older brothers, when he was a baby, he couldn't say her name correctly, so he said it in a different way. And she hated it because she wanted him to call her something else specific. Huh. <laughs> that was for like, like a cultural thing for a culture that she wasn't actually really a part of. She just really liked the novelty, so keep <laughs> on that. But um, when he finally got old enough to understand, like, that she wanted her to call him to, like, she wanted, um, him to call her that, um, she was like, she missed her nickname that her grandchild gave her. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, everyone was saying it was so cute that he had his own name for her and everything, and my grandma revels in attention. <laughs> so... She got really upset that he started calling her what she wanted to be called after that. <laughs> and they're like, you shouldn't have tried to pick something for him in the first place. <laughs> but she strong-armed everyone else into calling her that nickname as well. <laughs> because suddenly she liked it. Hmm. Yeah. I, mm, mm, nicknames never really happened in my family. It was just mom, dad, grandma, grandpa. The most is when, uh... <laughs> You know, you have two pairs of grandparents, usually. So, I... The ones I was more in contact with, they're just grandma and grandpa. 
but the ones I was less in contact with, that was Grandpa Ray, and I don't remember what we called our grandma on my dad's side. <laughs> For us, it was basically the same. Um, the your grandparents that I didn't see as often got called Grandma and Grandpa their full name. Mm. Um, my grandpa had on that side is my I love him. He's my favorite grandparent. <laughs> but um, so his name wasn't his actual name. It was his nickname. Mm. <laughs> so Grandpa nickname. Mm. My grandpa Ray is probably my favorite grandparent. Because he, whenever he visits, we get a surplus of Dr. Pepper. Aw, yeah. <laughs> he just carries a bottle of Dr. Pepper around with him whenever. And whenever that bottle starts to get low, he just pours a can in. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Power move. Yeah. <laughs> he also has this weird grandpa smell. I can't describe it. It's like some weird shaving cream bullshit. And just... Nostalgia. Yeah, it's just like, yep, that's my grandpa. And it's just like, yeah. Uh, the smell of grandpa. <laughs> uh, haven't seen Pa in a weeks. Last we saw of him, he popped up, hop, popped into the house to drop off more stupid mummies and globes of whatever. Then skipped off to do more adventures. What a bozo. <laughs> You tell him, Joey. That's right. Maybe something from your past will shed some light on today's terror mysteries. Some little detail mentioned offhand and forgotten, the key kicking off a casual, causal cascade of connections that terminates in a catastrophe of snake monsters. April 13th, 1994. Dear Diary, ho-hum. Nothing much happened today. I tried to make some new friends at school to maybe expand our social circle beyond just me and Jude's friends all the time. Wait, is it weird to call my brother's friends my social circle? Oh well, you know what I mean, diary. I don't have any friends I can really call mine, so I'm trying to branch out. I guess it's better than calling them my webbering. The kids at school are jerks, though, and they called me a poser when I tried to talk to them about games I like and stuff. Between you and me, I think a bunch of the kids at school might be... evil? <laughs> Jeez, now I'm sounding all paranoid like my brother. They're just up to no good, I can feel it. Joey. Evil. Evil. Evil! <laughs> June 12th, 1994. Dear Diary. Phew, first day of summer vacation. Can't wait to get a break from all those clowns at school. Sometimes I think what I really need is a vacation from humanity. Joey. Clown school. October 25th, 1994. Dear Diary, I can't believe I haven't recorded an entry since the beginning of last summer. Needless to say, I've been back to school for a while now. Next summer can't come soon enough, frowny right, face. so that's this page. Yeah. I came home to a drunk babysitter again today. Sure is some quality adult supervision we youngsters are getting around here. She means well enough, though. Haven't heard from Pa in weeks. Last we saw of him, he popped in the house to drop off some more stupid mummies and globes or whatever. Then skipped off to go on more adventures. What a bozo. Also, how lame is it that he made us call him Pa instead of Dad while we were growing up? I miss Mom. Frowny face, frowny face. This is going to be the last entry in your diary, then by gum you're going to scare the big Jesus out of whoever finds it once you're snake chow. November 11th, 1994. Dear Diary, forgive my hasty and nervous scribbling. I'm kinda scared, but maybe also a bit excited? Anyway, can't talk much now. There's a sly and cunning monster on the prowl. Possibly hungry for kid meat, too, so I've got to... Okay, I don't have a darn clue what I have to do, but I'll fill you in later once I do it, Joey. Satisfied you've done your duty vis-a-vis -vis posterity in case the worst should happen, you relock your diary and hide the key again, safe and sound. Here's how I hide the key. I just fucking toss it and don't look where it's landed. <laughs> <laughs> I just put it down because my memory is that bad. <laughs> Leave it in the lock. <laughs> I couldn't tap 
dance your diary open, although if you wanted, you might be able to tap dance it off the desk, if you wanted to. <laughs> you don't want to, though. You're going to go ahead and head that line of reasoning off at the pass. That's not the way to open your diary. It was just an idle thought. You need your diary key to open your diary, period. Whoa. Blonde. Blonde. That's a lot of Rubik's cubes. Yeah, a fucking shit ton. A varying cubage. Yeah. Ah, uh, come on, I can't look at the Rubik's cubes. Joey doesn't care enough about them. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, the teeth. The teeth shark. Or not yeah. shark, crocodile. Yeah. You really get a charge out of this game. It's kind of bossy, though. Oh, right. That's where you put the walkie-talkie batteries. You'll just take them back out. Okay, one more game for old time's sake first. Jude's probably fine. <laughs> it's pink, I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, looks like the green button isn't working. Well, nostalgia satisfied. Might as well scavenge the batteries. I'm beginning to call him. <laughs> Tap dance! <laughs> That's obviously the wrong school of dance for this poster. You need to put your suitable shoes on for this, by which you mean to dance in front of a poster. Oops, didn't even look at the poster. You really like this poster, but can't really say why. It's pretty, and you like the expression on the ballerina's face. You wonder if this is what it's like when adults go to museums to look at actual art. You hope so. You give it a good, hard stare. Yeah, you're appreciating the heck out of this art. It would be difficult, if not impossible, for anyone to appreciate it more. Hey look, another troll doll. Down nice. there in the corner. It's a little fella. Yeah, a little dude. Uh, we got any other shit to distract us? We never looked at the TV itself. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, okay, that's more than enough of that. <laughs> Man, there was so much more bubbly in this than I was expecting. Yeah. You could dance to your video games, and of course, you have... And of course you have, but tap dancing tends to rattle the old console so much that it freezes on occasion. Not a great tap dance accessory. The amount of Bubsy I was expecting was zero. Yeah. Because who expects Bubsy? I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah, my mom called me on accident. We got, we, we saw Bubsy. Yeah. Disgusting. It really was. <laughs> the visceral response Joey had was just, uh. Okay. Bubby. You briefly muse on the metaphorical significance of the flashing light. What could it represent? The past? The future? America? <laughs> it's your stupid brother. You need to get in touch with him. Look at that sky. Yeah. Sick as fuck. Hell yeah. Uh, poor puppy. If that icky snaky thing hurt her, well, you'd use your budding veterinary skills to patch her up and make it all better. But you'd also be very angry. Right now, she doesn't seem to want to come out of her doghouse. You don't blame her. That's cool. Mmm. God, if I had one of those, that, like, fucking water fountain with fucking skull and horns, fuck yeah. Hell yeah, dude. It'd be nice if those monsters were as weirded out by that weird skull fountain as you are. Unfortunately, that thing is probably monster chic. You're okay. unfortunate. Yikes. More of them? Gentrification is the real monster. <laughs> 
blistering social commentary aside, you sincerely hope you and your brother aren't killed and eaten by these eyeless horrors. Leaves. Remember when you were raking up those leaves? Your dog knocked Jude over and you laughed and then everything turned to monsters. Ah, memories. It was almost <laughs> it's like it's just five minutes ago or something. That's how it feels. Yeah. Sky. <clears throat> Sun has just set, making for a glorious autumn eve. As such, autumnal evening, uh, autumnal evening glory radiates from the heavens, kissing the clouds on its way down to earth. Stupid clouds, all untouchable and ephemeral and stuff. Disgusting. You think you're better than me? <laughs> you're better than me because you're up there, all wispy and shit. Fuck you. <laughs> clouds. All right, same. Uh. Yeah, okay. Can we get the batteries back? If we need them, right? There are other batteries. Yeah. Okay. Good. Also, when we played uh, Act 2, I streamed it, yeah? Yes. And it looked fine. I think this issue might just be with Act 1. Yeah, it mm. seems like. So I can carry over my save from there and then pick up the stream for Act 2. Hmm. You'll just have you'll just have to speed run it to get the save correct. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Success. The walkie-talkie works like a charm now, a charm with battery power. You feel pretty pleased with yourself. It would seem you just solved your first puzzle of many on what is sure to be a sweeping adventure full of mysterious brain busters. Ah oh, man, it what only took us an hour to solve the first puzzle. Yeah, <laughs> well, we weren't actively trying. We were looking at a room. I know, our I know. room is rad as hell. <laughs> I just think it's funny. Then again, putting batteries in a thing isn't technically solving a puzzle, you suppose. It is just overcoming a minor inconvenience that you created yourself using mundane, widely available modern technology. You don't care though. You're counting it. Yeah. It's very hungry, hungry people. Jude, you there? Are you alright? Uh, yes. <laughs> Been covertly signaling status and requesting yours. Over. You mean the lantern? I don't know Morse code. Would never use such easily decipherable code. Over. Enemy agents everywhere. Over. Wait, on over. Still unconverted vis-a-vis -vis your condition following enemy serpent encounter. Over. Please report bite status. How many and how gross? Over. <laughs> We're fine. Yeah. yeah. I'd say. I'm fine. No bites, you weirdo, but thank you for asking. That was a close one. Great. Was worried. Over. That reminds me, after I shut the door on it, I think I heard it clomping off back down the stairs. I don't think you should leave your treehouse anytime soon. It might be headed back your way. Yeah, there's also two more bullshit things on the ground there, and bats. Mm -hmm. No plans of leaving current location. Yard crawling with cryptid vanguard. Over. <laughs> cryptid. Uh... I guess wait it out. Yeah, whatever is going on, I guess we should just wait it out since we're both safe where we are. Negative. Over. What? Why not? Purely defensive posture, tactically suicidal. Monsters likely just distraction. Could have obscured additional agents on approach. Over. Agents. Do you mean like more monsters or... Can't discuss on unsecured channel. Can't be certain who's listening. But every evidence points that Ant Antares Antares class conspiracy cascade over. <laughs> what over? What over? Relieved you're taking this seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Are you totally prepared to begin forward operations? No going back now, Joey. Over. I was making fun of you, dweeb. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Trust crucial on the battlefield, Joey. 
hoping presence of monsters has has tipped equation away from typical skepticism over I trust you yeah okay that's that's fair okay what do I need to know your current position not secure large yard facing windows location compromised to enemy situation rapidly deteriorating must have gone to attic Joey over the attic Yes, the attic. Strong door. Well stocked with tactical material. Take left out of bedroom, go upstairs. Highest room in the house. Over. I know what the attic is, Jude. It was just a weird suggestion. <laughs> what else is new? More inscrutable rambling from my treehouse lunatic brother. Don't understand. You sound confused. Trying to help. Over. Look, just shut up, okay? I'll sneak up there, lock the door, and you can... The other option is call our babysitter. I think you should uh, increase the, the, yeah. the window size. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that in a second. Uh... Yeah. A cab. <laughs> Call her babysitter. Too late to reach her. At lab working day long over. Long done over. Oh no, you're right. Agreed on both counts. Babysitter capable strifer could help tip scales. Might also help convince you to get to safety. Jude, I'm going to go to the stupid attic, okay? I'm sorry for being mean. Do you have your weapon over? I have tap shoes. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, Leo, you buzzing. Oh, good. I love that. That's my favorite. Oh, that's my cell phone. Hold on. Oh. Whoa. Uh... Cell phone buzz buzz. I'll what do you think? I'll choose what weapon and wait till Leo's fixed. We're taking him to the vet. <laughs> oh man. Don't like the implications of that. <laughs> uh I have to I have to do shit. So Nin take over my, my, my reading. I'll be back. Okay. Point. <laughs> <Ooh>. <clears throat> Yeah, good luck. What weapon? You mean my old weapon? What for? Serpents swarming everywhere. Over. You want me to fight them? With a flashlight? Don't blame me for being nervous with this high concentration of serpent present. Must be brave. Your brother believes in you and knows he can beat the serpents. Over. Stop saying serpents. Snurpents. Do you recall where weapon is? Over. Yeah, it's in the closet. Understood. All set then. Over. No, I mean the hall closet. Fuck. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> over. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll have to take your word about all this. You are sure about all this, right? Absolutely. Extremely certain. Over. Over and out, Squirt. Alright, hall closet. Yeah. The hall with the dangerous monster. Kerchunk. Ker Actually, here. It's fucking with me, so. Not windowed. And now, quick chunk over here to. Kerchunk. Ooh, yeah, baby, look at that. Kerchunk? I just fixed in rate aspect ratios and stuff. Also, I got oh. an achievement. What is? I want to see what it says. <laughs> Over, but we just started. <laughs> Cute. All right, let's go. Mm. Oh yeah, there's the troll doll you said. Yeah, there's one on her closet, closet too. Ah. Uh. On the other side. Hmm. Uh. Fuck it, let's go. Yeah, let's do this. Achievement unlocked. It wasn't locked. 
<laughs> Looks like the coast is clear. For now. Better hurry over to the hall closet and retrieve your weapon before that crafty old serpent and you mean snake can get the drop on you. <laughs> well. So I should get my old weapon from the hall closet and then head up the attic, right? Affirmative. Also refrain from excess chatter. Over. Alright. Alright, yeah. Bye. Joke's on you, I'm gonna be pestering you every moment I can. <laughs> yeah, idiot. I want all the dialogue. <laughs> Could alert monsters over. Yeah, I got it. I'm going. Bye. Can't be too careful in the espionage game, Joey. Violence golden. Over. Dude, shut up. Remember one time on training mission, couldn't keep my trap shut. Who boy, really landed us in a pickle. Over. <laughs> You've never had any training. I'm turning off the walkie. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> over it. <laughs> God, this music uh, man, sucks. You can... Yeah, doesn't it? Also, this hallway, you can tell they don't have supervision. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that show ball. Ah, references. Locked up. Hmm. I can't wait, really. Ugh, there's so much homesick lore. It's your mother's jewelry box, a priceless heirloom of immeasurable sentimental value. Also, there appear to be some of your brother's empty cans of, of Pringles. Oh, that Pringles. doesn't look empty. <laughs> they are probably stale, though. <clears throat> Jude insisted the terrified horse was being abducted. Your counter-argument completely schooled him. This painting now commemorates your triumph and a particularly spectacular... Spectacular equine nativity. <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Damn it, you stupid The bear. lightning. I can't see what that says. Was only a clever distraction. Yeah, the lightning. The lightning bolt was only a clever distraction, making a secret of asking a secret abduction. No, nope, nope, his, his friends, friends brought, brought him a special surprise. <laughs> 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 It doesn't say lightning bolt, but I ad libbed to make yeah. it make sense. This thing's always given you the creeps, but that didn't stop you from patching it up after Jude accidentally ripped it with an experimental foamless dart. <laughs> mm -hmm. what does that a mean? dart. Just a dart. <laughs> what does that mean, dude? Why'd you do that? He wanted to practice shooting, I guess. <laughs> From the first and last dart gun war with Jude, Belinda here provides great cover for those who refuse to reuse firearms, namely you. You tried to distract him with your tap dancing and then stick a dart on him. It didn't work at all. <laughs> Anything at the end of the hallway? Uh, which end? The back one. Stairs. Oh. Yeah, I might want to explore the floor first, then. Ooh, look. The hallway seems spookier from this side. Frankly, you feel a little spookier yourself, just basking in its spooky aura. <laughs> I love that slinky fucking stuck. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Gotta look at all this bullshit. Can we try bothering your brother again? He told us not to talk. Ah, it's just a repeat of the conversation. Ah, the same thing, damn. Yeah. New Hi, perspective. Yeah. <laughs> She's looking at us. <laughs> Alright. You're light bright. Hours of fun, with the number of hours and the degree of fun dependent on the power of your imagination. Which in your case means many hours and a lot of fun. Castle. Ooh, that's a funky painting over there. This is the door to your neurotic dork of a brother's max, a maximum security bedroom. He keeps it locked up tight because of all the silly conspiracy work he does in there. 
You sincerely doubt you'll be entering this room anytime soon. But really, why would you even want to? It's full of nerd stink and goober crud. Not to mention it's where his pet usually lurks. You love all animals, but just the same, that's one you'd rather let you deal with. They got the fucking... Damn it, what is it called? I don't know. He always keeps it locked. Even if you did manage to get him, he probably has traps set up. Not worth trying to get gum out of your hair again. Plus, there'd be his pets to deal with. No thanks. But oh, we never brighted. Oh, it's our shirt. Cute. Nice. Oh shit, I forgot. <laughs> she might topple over, and what crueler way to kill a ballerina than by tap dancing her to death? Whoops. No, you'd never forgive yourself. Ugh, no. The chains would rattle and, and geez, it'd be horrible. Your heavy, rapid tap stomp to send those little pegs scattering across the floor, maybe under your still tapping feet. You might just slip and roll across them down the hall to the edge of the stairs and tumble down them, breaking every single bone in your body. Every single bone! There's just no way you can take that risk. That's how my brain operates all the time. Just the worst case, like, you could slip and then fuck up your entire skeleton. All of it. <laughs> Forever. Any other fun shapes we can get? Whoa. Bubby. Hey! Aww. Swirl. Yeah. And us. My gun are... You've always been a bit creeped out by the monster in the water. Feels like the eye is following you. But only sometimes. Man, what fucked up Pokemon are these? <laughs> <laughs> Skull! Look at that skull. Street shark. Street shark. Yeah, that's, a, that's the street shark. <laughs> I forgot what his name is, though. The lamp's not even plugged in, but there are at least nine possible light sources in your immediate area, so maybe you got lost in the typical well illuminated shuffle. It's the hallway closet. If memory serves, there's a box full of some old belongings of yours in there. You wonder what has what you're looking for. I am looking for the flashlight. I'm back. Hello. The shark's back. name is Big Slamu. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Leo, for this delightful lore. You're very welcome. <sighs> you think back to before. Back to when this closet door was shut. You had a reasonably good guess about what was inside, but now your guess is even more reasonable. <laughs> Whoa wild. That box probably has the stuff you need, but you can't reach. Hmm. You wonder what your next DEP should be. <laughs> Actually, your tap shoes might be the solution to this problem. <laughs> you could just get a good stomp going. You might be able to tumble that box right off the shelf. How dare you just tell me that? You already dropping so hoping. many hints. I would have loved it if it was like, you tap your head as you think about it. <laughs> yeah. How dare you just tell me explicitly. I want annoying hints. God, you could almost put your foot on it. <laughs> Sick. Wonder what's stashed in there. Nothing fragile, you hope. You pick through the box and find your flashlight and an old pair of ballet slippers. Those will come in handy. Chips. You need rations. Yeah. Oh, Wait, hey, there's some... Chips. Yeah. <laughs> Scooby there's snacks. There's some treats in there, too. Scooby Keep snacks. caches of these all over. You never know when you'll need to treat a pet. Always. You go ahead and try your flashlight. Click, click. No dice. Another battery problem? You open it up. Wait, there were no batteries in here at all. Just a bunch of stupid pogs. Dang it, dude! 
never found my old strike weapon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guess what? It's full of your stupid pogs. Crap, forgot about those. Please keep safe. Over. Mm, no. No, I'm throwing them all away. Joey, please! <laughs> those are my favorites. Over. I'm not really throwing them away, you nerd. What do you take me for? Thanks, over. So I guess I head up to the attic now. That is the plan, over. I better shake a leg then. Affirmative, over and out. Time to go look downstairs. Yeah. You got your strife weapon back. Time to head up to the attic, right? You're taking a leap of faith with Jude on this one, but he seems to at least think he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Can I look at... No, okay, it just walks. Mm. A bunch of stuff that should be moved into the attic. There's some toys here that you don't play with that much anymore. Basically, a useless pile of trash. What is that? Boomerang. Oh. If I've learned anything from some fucking dumb games, it's boomerangs are useful weapons. <laughs> if you know how to you got... no, I guess it's okay. Just hit people. Just hit yeah. them with it. Violence. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. I guess you could still hit them. They're pretty heavy. Flashlights are too, though. You got this toy caterpillar so you could learn how to cure caterpillar diseases. <laughs> but it turns out plush caterpillars don't get sick. Still pretty cute, though. And yet you left them. You yeah. left them on the dusty stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to shake him loose, huh? No such luck. He's gripped tight. He's also placed such that if you were to tap dance near him, you'd likely break your ankle on the stairs. Clever little guy. <laughs> the caterpillar can't help you, and you can't help the caterpillar. Not a productive friendship, but at least nobody's being taken advantage of. Someone say friendship? You'll leave <laughs> them behind! Your natural oh. great. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Your natural grace inspires him to immediately start spinning a chrysalis. He's gonna be a butterfly, but pronto. <laughs> so don't we can't tap dance, game. but I ballet. I guess it's more graceful. <laughs> <laughs> You're loath to touch it and disturb whatever astronomically improbable equilibrium is at play. Best just leave it be. But what if? Your percussive pitter-patter might jostle it loose. Also, you'd be at real risk of breaking your dang neck tap dancing on the stairs like that. You study the slinky. It's grace. It's poise. To hold that position for years, neither faltering nor giving the impression of total stillness. Always the suggestion that in the next instant it may tumble forward from potential to kinetic, melting from solid to liquid. That is ballet. Whoa. <laughs> I got an achievement called Hope Springs Eternal. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, same. Look at that guy. <laughs> Such a loose pile. Your tap dancing would probably blast it to pieces. That sounds like an excellent way to break both your legs right next to an attic staircase without even having to fall down it. And yet... Now, <laughs> we did it on the stairs, though. <laughs> and it was clearly meant to happen, because I had text. Yeah, but it's weird that <laughs> it did. On the rare occasions he's home, Pa can be heard bumping around up here while tending to his horde of stupid antique trash. Or priceless artifacts, you mean. Well, no, you know. don't. <laughs> this knows whatever the fuck this thing is. Huge chunk of wire? Robot arm? Robot wire arm? Yeah. Trying to shake the door right off the hinges with your percussive taps, eh? No dice. 
You're lucky you didn't fall down the stairs and break both your legs just all the way in half, each leg flying off in a different direction. Completely gross. <laughs> Kelly has very intense focus on the idea of breaking her legs. Yeah, it's like a Family Guy cutaway gag. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Well, if it, uh... If it doesn't swing open for ballet, you guess you'll just have to find the key. It's locked, but you need to get in here as soon as you can. Rubber! You peer through the keyhole. Ooh. Yeah. Weird. What the heck was that thing? And how long has it been there? God, I want to set up my attic in a way that shows off a weirdly placed thing with a tarp. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, the attic door's locked. Cripes, forgot about that. Tactical blunder on my part, over. It's fine, no big deal. Just left the safety of my room to be eaten by monsters in the hallway because my dorky brother sent me to, sa to the safety of the wrong side of a locked door. It is not fine, over. Jude. Panic not necessary. You'll need to get you to attic over. For safety, right. Well, whatever. I'm trusting you, I guess. Appreciate that, over. Although so far, it hasn't really paid off. Yeah. Joey, please. Just, just need you to head to the trophy room, over. Oh, gross. I hate that place. Why does he even need a whole uh, special trophy room when our whole house is just his dumping ground for whatever garbage he picks up on his stupid adventures? Now isn't the time, Joey. Yeah. We'll find <laughs> key to attic there. Mysterious Keep your daily issues in your pocket. Father not relevant. Yeah. Over. Fine. Over and out. Do, 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 do. Well, we got a minute. Could you change the uh, uh, resolution? It's so at, it doesn't cut off anyway. It's at max. Oh, you now. did? Yeah, it's at max oh. now. Mm. And it's not window. Mm. Okay. Whoops, that's the wrong button. That I I meant to click. Hey. You can't leave now. I did if I break it, come on! You broke the game. Fucking You done. Those are the settings it. and save if you can? Or it might be because our brother still wants to talk to us. Okay. So, head to the trophy room? Affirmative, over. Got it. Over and out. Okay. So, saving just in case. <laughs> There we go. Okay, there we go. I'm so smart. Genius. Genius, Eva. Thank you. <laughs> it feels <laughs> nice to hear someone else say it. <laughs> Some great photos and portraits of your mostly great family. You decide to take a closer look. Ooh la la. That there mom is looking très glamnifique. When you grow up, you hope this is what mirrors will look like. <laughs> Her mom is really pretty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You and your very good dog. Aw. Pawn, someone you presume is his sister? Nobody he's ever mentioned, not that the two of you talk much. Kind of weird to think you might have liked a, uh, you might have like a second cousin out there you've never met. Maybe she died young? The old timey times were pretty rough. <laughs> old timey times. A lovely diptych. Dip. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Of yeah. school portraits, the laser background, the bad hair days, simply perfection. <laughs> Jude puts the dip in diptych, you mutter to yourself. Such an unreal burn on the unsuspecting chump, but he probably wouldn't even get it. Come to think of it, maybe neither of you do? Or neither do you? 
I like your shirt, dude. <laughs> yeah. There aren't any pictures of the three of you together, so you tried to make one through the art of composition. By hanging these three solo photos together, it's kinda like there's a photo of all three of you. Sorta. You and Jude have a lot of fun memories with your babysitter. By now, probably more than with your mom and with your mom and pa combined. You'd always thought of her as the kind of cool and fun older kid you wanted to be. Until you got old enough to realize she's a pretty sucky role model. You wonder what her family is like, but it's probably not your place to ask. Mom is the picture of grace and radiance, and Pa is just Pa. Seriously, has he ever changed his look? Sometimes you wonder if he was born with his spectacles and mustache, or at least one of the two. Pa used to be great with animals. You wonder what happened? Maybe a betrayal? No, impossible! Look how good that dog is! That dog never betrayed anybody in his entire life! You would stake your entire reputation on it! The whole thing! All of it. Mm hmm Ugh. Can't even look at this picture. You deplore cruelty to animals. One of the many ways you and your father never saw eye to eye. One of the other ways is how he never actually looked at you much, let alone at your eyes. Alright, I can't access my inventory to tap dance. Damn it. <laughs> but I can't now! Hot cha cha! You're about Damn to it. mess with the. Yeah. Oh, broken picture. Hmm. Down the stairs. Ah, fucking Ketzel Kawada over here? This guy, what's he so happy about anyway? His expression probably made more sense in its original context. That is to say, whatever tomb or temple or whatever that your pa plundered him from. Well, you should look happy for this, ha cha cha! Tap dancing would probably just agitate a snake. If you had to get past one, which is very possible. Likely even. What about this, ha cha cha! You cleverly dodged the serpent, but you're not surprised. Ballet is, after all, the preferred school of dance for such a venture. Alright. I can't look at this coat of arms. Ooh. Well, it seems the power is out. That should make the trophy room quite the adventure. Which is to say, not quite the adventure you wish you were having right now. Well, it would seem the power's out. Classic PSYOPs, over. What? Credit where it's due. Best way to destabilize countermeasures. Leave you in the dark. Literally, over. Not literally. It's still, like, late afternoon. I can see fine. Should have no trouble getting to the trophy room then, over. Fine then, Mr. Mission Control. Yes, great. Over and out. <laughs> Ooh, funky long room. Just your reliable old portable cassette player, complete with headphones. Jude can occasionally be found using it to even further isolate himself from reality. <laughs> Crush it. No, Jude left one of his tapes in there, and nobody can tap dance to Enya. <laughs> Especially with a pair of dead batteries in the compartment. You need your ballet skills to avoid the monsters. With headphones on, you'd never hear them coming. Death by Enya. You'd probably end up reincarnated as a rose trapped in an iceberg. <laughs> Plus, the batteries are dead, of course. And Can I take them? Dead batteries, of course. Seems to be a running theme. Wait, can can I use the headphone wires to strangle a motherfucker? <laughs> so we didn't take them? That's lame. Yeah. This bookshelf contains several of Pa's books, including Pistols to Pelts, How to Turn Sweet Intelligent Animals into Weird Rugs and Stuff. 
teach yourself taxidermy, I guess, and safari. Stories of bold men and the animals they killed from a distance even though they weren't hungry and did not intend to eat them. I love the yeah, like, ag aggressive, these aggressive titles to whoever's buying them. Yeah. They're self-aware. Yeah. I mean, they're written for the same people who wrote them. They just know. Achita. They're already pretty cluttered on the shelf without your help. You may have been the one who tap danced these books into their cluttered state in the first place. Ajala. You don't need your graceful ballet skills to avoid reading. All you need is the power of your video games. Video games. Video games. Uh, TV. There's the big screen. Got that cable hookup and everything. I'm a bowl of cereal. Mm. Looks yeah. like it. It's your home altar and your method of worship to listless vegetation. The gods rewar reward you with glimpses of the divine, Clarissa, Alex Mack, and the cool green lady from Reboot. You really like her. She's... yeah, she's cool. <laughs> ah, old CGI at its finest. <laughs> Fuck, that dude's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Teach yourself taxidermy indeed. <laughs> A piano can be used to turn the slight motion of one's fingers into music. Those ivories, how they beg to be tickled. <laughs> but you mustn't! Also, you, uh, can't. Oh, but you don't need to be good at piano to annoy people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, look at that fucking the thing. Piano? Sorry, I just noticed there's all of the buttons. So many. Press all of them at the same time. Yeah. Let's play it anyway. Oh, that would be just the thing, wouldn't it? Some kind of eerie, lonely sonata to really set the tone for the adventure ahead. Something in a minor key, maybe? It's a shame that would probably provoke a bunch of monsters to eat you. Can't wait to do Homestuck proper. Yeah. Also, you can't really play the piano. Hard to dance and play at the same time, you know from an extremely depressing experience. Especially when you can't even play. Depressing. <laughs> if someone could just get up on this, uh, get on this piano and drop some Leo de Libes, it'd really power up your ballet moves. You suppose you could even settle for a stilted rendition of Hot Cross Buns? That's the first song I learned to play on the recorder. Whoa. Pause Major Totem of Power. The clunky gadget controls the TV, the garage door, toaster, thermostat, and pretty much everything else of, uh... Anything- everything else with the charge running through it. It's pretty hefty. Okay, can understand this! Gotcha! You briefly the, consider the idea of a television that could be controlled by the rhythmic tapping of your shoes. No, thank you. <laughs> Not sure if you're willing to deal with the inevitable torrent of sprained ankles in lawsuits, though. Really, now, the Universal Remote was designed to reduce extraneous physical activity. Using it while prancing around sort of defeats that purpose. Which is part of why you have no interest in this dumb thing. You pop open this behemoth and score! You pocket the E-cell batteries right into the old Silidex. Nice. Oh, yeah, bear. It's a bear that your pa shot and turned into a trophy. Now all his friends who come in this room will think, oh, this guy shot a bear. Okay. <laughs> Except he doesn't really have any friends and he's never here. So it's just a nice big horrifying thing for you to deal with. Can this bear deal with touch a cha Make yourself as intimidating as possible. The bear is terrified. Aw, oh, don't worry. There's no pause for alarm. Well, guys, that was the end of the stream. It was great yeah. having you here. It's been fun, everybody. <laughs> See you later. I think you should have said pause for alarm. Ah, oh, fuck. You're right. <laughs> We're better writers. <laughs> 
You don't need to outrun the bear. You only need to outrun you. Wait, that joke doesn't really work when you're narrating to yourself. Or, wait, what are you talking about? You dropped this line of thought forever. Oh, I wish I could. Hey, a bear! <laughs> <laughs> a beanbag chair. Super comfy and thankfully not filled with real beans. You could take a nap, but you've kind of got a lot going on right now, you know? Mm, real beanbag chair. Well, blue. Blue lady. This piece was too depressing, so you gave it a nice refinishing. If your pa has a problem with it, he's welcome to say so next time he's actually around. Hmm, you wonder if you'll be driving by then. <laughs> to college. Or you teach because you're an adult and 20 years have passed. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, great. Blue. The ladies in these paintings are eerily beautiful, although maybe everyone would look like that in blue. The lamp, goodness. You'd like to meet the lady who modeled for it someday. Alright. Whoa, look at that guy. Yeah, he's just wild. He's going. Mm. Alright, seems like all. More blue. This lamp makes you blush brighter than the lamp itself. Hmm. <laughs> You've always enjoyed this painting, particularly because the lion looks so alive. Whoever painted it must have a very good wow. imagination, or must have painted it very fast. Good job, Leo. I know things. I'm a genius. <laughs> I have all the dialogue for this game memorized. You're that's so not true. Cool. That's where that's where all my brain space goes <laughs> to is homestuck <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, and it's my doctorate. <laughs> Boy, your pa really gets inventive with his taxidermy, huh? What a ghoul. Cha -cha -cha. Hey, he makes a pretty good metronome. Cha -cha -cha -cha. Your ballet is like this bear clock, precise and fierce. Oh, door. <laughs> uh, spooky. Super mm. fuck this. <laughs> No, it's fine. I do like it, though. Look or listen. This room is really giving you the creeps. You hear something breathing. Something else, you mean, besides you. Cha cha! You don't know what may be lurking in the dark. If there is something, like, say, that horrible thing that chased you all the way to the door of your room, you don't want to agitate it with frivolous tapping. Uh, cha -cha. You always look before you leap, and until you get the power back in, back on in this room, you're not sure what you'd maybe be leaping onto, or into, like say a snake monster's hungry mouth, for instance. Could we actually get flashlight? The power? Yeah, I was thinking about that. Or could we actually get the power back on? We already have batteries in our flashlight. I thought. No. I no 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 we don't but um we need an extra thing of batteries and I don't think these are the ones. That yeah, that's are that's why I'm worried. Now. Well, you don't need to worry about it because yeah. I have the save we need for the ending we need for Act Two. Oh uh, yeah. Oops. I just need to import that save no, into no, the I, thing. The thing is, I, I think this has, I think we have the extra batteries that we need. Because I'm pretty sure we get the batteries for the flashlight in the kitchen. Yes. Oh. So I think. We'd be fine. Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, I can't see anything in the trophy room. It's way too dark. Odd. Rest of house navigable? Over. Consider utilizing flashlight. Over. You mean the one you filled with your pogs? That flashlight? <laughs> Joey, please. Over. No, you swallowing on the past. Over. <laughs> the past, you're sabotaged. <laughs> it doesn't matter anyway. 
Something's blocking the door to the trophy room now. Something over? Yeah, I'm not sure what. Strange. For now, recommended focus on restoring power before sun completely sets. Over. <laughs> oh, geez, you're right. Okay. I'll do that. Thanks for the reminder. Need electricity to retrieve key anyway. Over. What? Can't discuss over unsecured channel. Over and out. I could choke you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put... No. These batteries are so huge, they don't even begin to fit. Like fitting a round peg into a round hole that's a bit smaller than the peg. You'll need some D-cell batteries. Okay. Also... Yeah, I said the ones have a flashlight are in the kitchen. Yeah, but I just wanted to see. Mm. Any hot tips for getting the power back on? Power added seems to grant invaders significant advantage over. That's not really a tip. That's more like just an explanation for why I'm trying to do it. Not sure what to tell you. Second baker, probably in basement. Over. See, that was very helpful. Thanks. Doing my best. Over and out. The power is off, and as such, your fax machine is basically useless. This is an unacceptable state of affairs. Unacceptable. But can this fix it? Well, you can't very well dance to the fax machine if the power is off, can you? Be sensible. <laughs> you visualize all the delicious items that could be in the cool embrace of the refrigerator, but are not. But what's in there? It's empty. Cool. Food shopping has become sporadic of late. Turns out tipsy babysitters are fairly bad at responsibilities. Oh no. Yeah, who would've guessed? Bigfoot. Gasp. As a dancing partner, he's unfortunately a little... frigid. <laughs> we need to get a laugh track. Yeah. Your tap achievements don't lend themselves well to fridge front commemoration. Yeah, that's not the thing. The sound you've heard since you entered the kitchen grows louder as you approach. The awful static is like nothing you've ever heard, and you want to go back to not hearing it as soon as possible. You turn the radio off. Rumbo. <laughs> Your babysitter has just really atrocious taste. You're only 14, and even you can tell this is just really crummy. You've cranked it all the way down to try to stop that awful noise. You crank it a little harder, and, um, oops, you might have broken it. Actually, you're okay with that. But It's off, and it'll say, stay that way. Alright, let's see, what, what have we got? Look, you're not saying you never have home-cooked meals. Your babysitter is a pretty good chef, even. It's just, well, none of you like doing dishes, and the nice thing about takeout is you can just eat it right away, uh, eat it right out of the boxes, and then throw the boxes away. Mm, you seem to be yeah, missing one of those away. steps. Yeah. Mm. Of course, none of you really like taking out the trash, either. Or throwing it away. Yeah. Mm. No one likes doing chores. Mm. You still have to do them, dingus. Yeah. I don't know one likes doing the dishes. Jesus Christ. The sink is full of dirty dishes. Someone should clean these up. Uh. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Later. No way, no way. You did them last time. It's Jude's turn now. You know what? After he completely ditched you for the treehouse earlier, maybe it can be Jude's turn for quite some time. <laughs> you both ditched each other, Joey. Yeah. This place is enough of a mess without sending shards of glass and porcelain everywhere. You're likely to shred your feet to pieces if you try to use this mess as a stage. 
Please clean it. I can't look at Terrifying thought. Oh, dog food. You're even out of dog food? Things really have gotten desperate. I guess you can't blame your babysitter for running off to the store for groceries at what was, retrospectively, the worst possible time. <laughs> Kick it. Looks like this da bag of dog food is tapped out. <laughs> okay, you get to say that one time. One. One. You gracefully avoid the few stale and scattered kibbles on the floor as you gracefully do everything. You probably don't even need to bother mentioning it, which is why you usually don't. Where could the battery be? Could it be in this radio? Could it be? Could it? I don't know. Could, could, could it? There it is. Mmm, the radio is clearly, although weirdly, functional. Despite not being plugged in, you might be onto something here. Whoa. You open the battery compartment. Whoa. Okay, good. If this radio didn't need batteries to make those noises, you'd have to upgrade the spookitude to business class spookitude. And frankly, you can't afford that. <laughs> Jackpot D-cells. You can never have too many batteries, and never in too many different sizes either. Incredible. Another electric device su successfully powered through clever manipulation of resources in your immediate environment. You are on fire! I got the achievement, Light Weaponry. Nice. <laughs> With your flashlight fully functional and in fit fighting form, you feel significantly better equipped to handle most low-light environments, and also to beat the bejesus out of any of those creeps that get too close. Although that's a last resort, of course. Leah, did you have a strife specs? Did you have a? It is strife specs. Did you have one for your character? Like for your tool, so no. Uh, no. I never thought of one. Should be dirt, dirt specifist. <laughs> Just dig a hole in the ground and whatever, <laughs> find whatever I need down there. Yeah, <laughs> Minecraft specifist. That sounds like a really inconvenient capture law. <laughs> Very much so. Very Fawzer. Mm. This mummy is currently blocking your access to the rest of the house. He has been since your pa left him here months ago. Oh, Ooh, bitch, get out of the way! Yeah, not a lot of chance of you being able to move Pharaoh Napoleon over here. <laughs> I think you could. You just have to believe in yourself. Ooh. Even the hula ladies are blue. Yeah. Mm. I think you call them boo ladies. It's a machine designed to make your uh to take your clothes and wash them. You call it a washing machine. Holy shit. It serves its purpose admirably on the rare occasion a human being is willing to cooperate. Aha, uh -huh, cooperate with this. The rhythmic rumbling does make a beat that you could maybe dance to, if the power isn't out. You usually wash your ballet slippers on cold, then you don't put them in the dryer, which is easy to remember because you don't have one. Nice. Like this nights in shorts. Yeah. <laughs> your pa brought this home as a souvenir. There's nobody inside it. Kind of like a metaphor, you guess? <laughs> <laughs> what, Joey? <laughs> You're not sure you want to start down the road of analyzing your life as if it were a work of fiction. <laughs> <laughs> sure, honey. that thing. <laughs> Ooh. Like the worms from Adventure Time. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um... Well, Crazy sir, episode, night. that one. Can you keep up with this? Huh. Solid as a rock. You expected it to rattle a little, at least, but you guess you're nothing compared to a fire-breathing fire breathing lizard, which is certainly not a thing that is real. Those are fake, for sure, forever, and also in the past. Also, all fake as heck. Can't wait till one of these fucking 
make things breach fire. Yeah. <laughs> well, they've got the legs for it, but even if they've been trained, you think they might be a little rusty. Uh. A souvenir from your pa after his trip to Hawaii. He's been exploring the Pacific a lot lately, for some reason. Or so he mentioned offhandedly a few years ago. Yeah, vroom vroom, asshole. <laughs> you assume he's still doing that due to you not having any fresher data, or particularly caring one way or another where the hell he is. Yeah, Joey, you really don't care, we can tell. <laughs> you sure don't. We, yeah. You do a quick tap routine for the hula girls. No response, but hey, did that pile of boxes against the wall just shift a little? Who knows, I'm looking at these ladies. <laughs> you pirouette for the hula girls. They stare at you unmoved and also unliving. Mm, fucked up, ain't that? Mm. Ah, achievement may have this dance. I'm getting all the achievements. Look at me. Hell yeah, 100%. 100%. Pa loves his blue lady's portrait so much he keeps redundant backups scattered around. Because it's okay if you ignore something supposedly precious to you, as long as you're paying attention to something kind of similar in another location, right? You decide not to pull on that psychological thread because you have important work to do. And who needs that crappy old blowhard anyway? Wow, Joey, you don't care about him or miss him at all. <laughs> I love mustache. Ooh, filled with... Oh, oh I can God. assume the Teeth. most stale marshmallows ever. The oldest oh, cocoa. Nasty. <laughs> nasty. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, Maybe it was teeth. I really didn't think teeth, but I was hoping that someone else would say teeth, too. <laughs> yeah. Your babysitter sometimes cracks into your pa's special reserve, as she ten and she tends to do it down here, so you and Jude don't see. You aren't really sure what to say about it, or if you even have any business saying anything about it at all. I mean, it's not like she doesn't drink in front of you at all. Maybe you should say something about it. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, a bat forgotten Rats. skiing stuff. No basement is complete without it in your extremely limited experience. Oh wait, nah, fucking the ski sticks! Those things are sharp! Just stab a motherfucker! Yeah. Super old, though. Reallocate your strife specifist, kid. <laughs> Those things might crumble if they try to stab <laughs> some people with them. <laughs> Hopefully it pierces before it crumbles. Hmm. But then what are you going to do after? Uh, pray the Run first away. pierce killed it. Oh. <laughs> and what about the bot suits after that? Uh, run. <laughs> <laughs> it's a taxidermied narwhal. Your pa brought it back with him from the Arctic. He sure does get around. Yeah. Where do you get all the money for this? Luckily for him, he has this big house to dump off the animals he murders and the kids he doesn't want to raise. <laughs> Boy, I wonder what she's constantly thinking about. Mm. <laughs> Tap dancing for the dead feels a bit ghoulish, don't you think? For a funeral dance, ballet seems more suitable. Especially when the departed was a creature of such eerie beauty and unexpected grace. Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> ah, of course. A little dance macabre to belatedly mark the passing of this beautiful creature. Something from La Mort du Saint. Is that, perhaps? <laughs> you don't have the music ready, but you take make a pledge to do it properly when you have the opportunity. With your pa's strange affinity towards the Betty Crocker brand ever apparent, this musty old junk mainly consists of all sorts of cooking implements ranging from the familiar to the enigmatic. Really now, you can tell what a whisk is for, but some of this stuff looks downright unethical. Unethical <laughs> baking supplies. Hmm. <laughs> it's also in your way. You can't reach the circuit breaker. 
move it. Use your hands. Try to move one box and the whole pile is liable to come tumbling down on you. You need to find a way to get them all moving at once. Shake them up somehow. A controlled tumble. That's the ticket. Oh, that chain is animated. Oh, yeah. yeah. I noticed it. I was... I was actually, that's why I was like looking over here. That's why I clicked on the narwhal. I was like, ah, oh, there's gotta be something. But no, they just animated the chain. Decided to make it wiggle. Yeah. Hola. Totally unmoved. You'll need to, you'll need to step a little livelier to get this sturdy stack out of the way. All right, let's go. You've cleared the boxes away with your fancy footwork. Now just give the breaker a tug or whatever. Hit, oh, I don't want to hit it. Mm. It's way too dark in here to turn your flashlight off. You did all that, all the dancing you need to do vis-a-vis -vis getting the power turned back on. Maybe try using your arms, specifically your hands, more specifically on the circuit breaker. Sorry for the attitude, you're just getting severely creeped out still. <laughs> Joey is done with your shit, Craig. <laughs> yeah, I figured Joey wants to get, to she wants to get out of here. Mm. You flip the breaker and... Click this box. No, Maybe it's she. Uh, I was gonna say, uh, she organized them after we after we made them topple. It's fun. <laughs> but no, we hadn't cleared the click the box because it wasn't there yet. <laughs> no, that one was there. Those ones weren't. Maybe it's because you grew up in a house where nobody really cooks, but you have no idea what to do with these cooking implements. Food, the great mystery. <laughs> Well, let's go. Nothing bad can happen. Whoops! <laughs> Strife! God, look at all those legs. Man, can you handle this? It's gone. Shakes for the memory. Oh, snakes for the memory. Uh. Five. Nah, it seems like an actual solution. <laughs> Step on the scoop. Hot stepping. Step the room where it slappens. Disobedient, Disobedient serpent. Hero at the bottom. Hero at the bottom. Next time. Condition. <laughs> uh. Legger nut luck next time. <laughs> Stab it with the key. Too precious to weapon nice. Pog, bro. Got no chance of beating this thing. You gotta get away. Step on it. Can I interest you and in please leave? There we go. Game of stone, Joe. Achievement. Step up. Power back on. You doing or psyops of encroaching forces over? Give you back light only to snatch it away. Described hypothetical, very cruel. Dealing with sick operators, over. No, it was just me. Criminy, dude. That snake monster is down in the basement, by the way. I managed to get past him, but we'll probably need to deal with that at some point. 
boy, you know what? Like we've... how you deal with the dishes? What? <laughs> <laughs> what if we moved Mummy Napoleon to block the way? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> so heavy. smart. Yeah. You can possibly be strong enough to move it. You just gotta the be smart. You just gotta... Incredibly muscly, huge snake monster could not be stronger than <laughs> us, right? A 13 year old girl? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're evenly matched for strength. Yeah. Second encounter with said serpent, correct? Beast wily. <laughs> but sister already established superior willingness to attribute. Over. Wily. Hey, thanks. Sis wily. <laughs> <laughs> this wily. <-er. laughs> Sis wily is. Coyote. <laughs> I think. No, you don't. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Trophy room should be trivial obstacle I'm over. <laughs> Wait, what? Add a key, Joey. Eyes on the prize. Keep me in the loop over and out. Oh, let's go. Facts. The fax machine can be used to send facsimiles of whatever you stick inside it to whoever also has a fax machine. It's very high tech. My what? mom's printer does faxing. Oh. What does that thing say? FBI captured real what? What did you capture? Maybe Ghost. alien? Something that dude would be interested in, most likely. Yeah. Yeah. He's so a nerd. Either alien. Yeah, probably aliens. Aliens. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Ugh. Stop. Look at his little legs. Just <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Excuse me? He was like, the fuck? <laughs> Dude. Please excuse me. Shoot, Tango. Choose your. I wonder what this guy's deal is. Yeah. I wonder what they're interested in. Light bite. Ow. Could it be Pogs? <laughs> Passion Passion. Guava. Fruitless Endeavor. <laughs> Joe already Joe already been? Been? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just... Open your toy. Put your eyes on the prize. Stomp it. Half time. Name Ow. Maybe feed him first, and then hit him? Oh, there it goes, never mind. Oh, I see. I wonder if you can actually kill these things. Probably not, right? Since she's so little. Yeah, yeah you can't kill I them. Say, I say that, but then I think about the way Jay... Not the way Rose took care of the, uh... The imps at her, uh... In her Hell world. the fucking ogre. Yeah. Yeah, Joey just doesn't want to hurt them. Hmm. She chooses the pacifist route. Yeah. This song bops. Yeah. Victory song. Yeah. All right. Monster inflicted death scene averted. You are unbelievably stressed out right now. <laughs> Congratulations. You've ascended to rung two. Attained rank of tail waggling, wagging Tyro. Max HP increased by 12. Muscle increased by 7. Uh-huh. Congratulations! You've ascended to rung 3. Attained rank of Minute Mammal Mender. Dexterity increased by 2. Grace increased by 6. Leverage increased by 5. Leverage. <laughs> Congratulations! You've ascended to rung 4. Attained rank of Peppy Patterer. Mastered Noggin Bop. Hubris increased by 4. <laughs> Courtesy decreased by 2. Sorry, my hubris is already a max stat, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, where's the key? In his desk or something? 
would never leave critical item in such obvious location, over. Okay, but, like, where did you leave it? I just had to lure a hungry monster out of here with treats, and I'm not sure how much time I have for brother-sister conspiracy capers before it comes back. If room compromise can't discuss countermeasures over unsecured line. Oh my goodness, utilize... he's a monster that special ops! <laughs> <laughs> utilize puzzler skill set, over. <laughs> they can be both, Fine. I don't know. Call back if assistance required, over and out. Watch, Act 3 comes out and it turns out they actually have an organized plan and I look fucking stupid! <laughs> <laughs> God, look at all these things we got over here. We got this fucking yeah, dude. Got, we got oh yeah, Lawrence, so much we got shit Bastet, to read. We got Dharma. Yeah, we got, we got a lot. Uh, dance, looks like. Uh, kitty. Yeah, Bastet. No kitty. God. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, my head hurts. I'm <laughs> bro, stop trying to think. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm thinking. No. <laughs> uh, it's an alabrige, a folk art monster from Oaxaca, Mexico. Carved out of the wood of a co of the copal tree. This little thing used to creep you out really bad until your babysitter suggested you learn more about it. He found out they're based on monsters an artist saw in his dreams, and ever since then, he's seemed a lot more friendly. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like a little dude. Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice the little pyramid here. Yeah, it seems Pops really likes Egypt. Yeah. This is, um, Horus, you think? You're not up on your Egyptology. Alright, that's all I can... Yeah, I guess he doesn't care about the other stuff. Dear. As if being dead weren't bad enough, your pa replaced his eyes with some creepy glass orbs. The light refracted in their faceted stare gives you the creeps. Would you rather they be hollow? Hmm. But, are you crazy, or is there some light reflecting off his antler, too? Maybe it bears closer examination. Ah. Uh. There's something odd about the antlers. You can't quite put a finger on it. Or can you? Maybe in a literal sense? Touch it. Mm -hmm. Touch the antler. Touch them. Later, I got more stuff to look at. <laughs> well, we got more masks up there. More fibs. Ah, bro. Guns. Look at that Dude, fish. A fuck salmon. <laughs> <laughs> this is Yeah. <laughs> this is our friend Katana. You have no <laughs> idea what to do with one. Wait, maybe you will just throw it away. No! Ooh, that's my friend. no we love them. <laughs> Seems like someone sliced this big fella's hand off. Luckily, uh, lucky he's a lefty, at least posthumously. Whip it. It's a little out of season. Coward. <laughs> Your pa's love of globes knows no bounds, but you don't recognize any of the continents on this one. You'd have a better idea of, of what you were looking at if you could read these scribbly labels. All you can make sense of is the X mark. Could it indicate pressure? Spin it! <laughs> you spin the globe and watch the white beams rake across the surface of the globe. Fun. It stopped at 1111 and has, and has been as long as you can remember. You could fix it, but why bother? It's not like you're going to make a habit out of strolling over to the worst room in your house to check the time. This is exactly the kind of thing you wish wasn't in your house. What? Why couldn't your pa just leave their regular eyes in, and also, more importantly, leave their head attached to their body? You'd like to put something in those sockets, but what? And also, wait, why do you want to do that so much? That's weird. Alright, time to tap around this place. Ha! If you need to move this thing, just give it a spin. No rhythmic stomps necessary. Spin. Maybe you could incorporate this inaccurate globe into a ballet about... globes? 
A bunch of dancers dressed as globes doing pirouettes to simulate spinning. Yeah, that'd be really revolutionary. <laughs> <laughs> Tap dancing at this poor kitty is liable to shake its head right off the wall, maybe onto those katanas. Or maybe only one of them is a katana. Well, regardless, the juxtaposition of the swords under a decapitated animal makes for a pretty ghoulish tableau. This beautiful kitty was more graceful than you can ever hope to be. Sigh, for all the good it did them. Ballet is the most elegant and demanding type of dance. Maybe katanas are the same, but for swords? Sigh. Look. You're going to lay it all on the line. Ballet rules, and you really don't give a flying frog about katanas. You're just trying to be nice. Wow. <laughs> That's our friend over there talking about Joey. Stop talking don't shit rude. about my friend. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to hold something while you tap dance, it'd be a cane. Just like the great Fred Astaire, who you know as a phenomenal tap dancer and you literally know nothing else about him. Nice. This fella's already lost his right arm. You start stepping at him, he's likely and he's likely to rattle to bits. Whoop, buzzing. <coughs> Why'd I do that? Leo's broken. What? He broke. Oh, good. Yeah, you sound fine now, though. So it seems like your breaking was temporary. Love that. Uh, you don't stand a chance of lifting this burnished brute. Maybe they could lift you, but between the hand on the floor and the handful of sword, you think you'll pass on this pass. Victor. Victor. <laughs> Smuppet head. I wouldn't have noticed if you didn't say anything, man. I was just like, glossing over everything, just like, hmm, weird, everything's funky, and then you were like, yeah, smuppets. You've never been entirely clear on what's going on in that- in this tapestry, but it certainly looks intense. Just look at that fire-breathing serpent at the bottom, and that red-eyed figure on the throne. What's their deal? Is that all I can look at here? Just- yeah. Right. Well, I guess that's progress. Whoa, that sure did some. Dude, I can't make heads or tails of this thing. What thing? Over. I turned on a laser, but that's it. Nothing else is happening. Thought you were a puzzle master. Was wrong, it seems. Over. Hold on. Over. Believes his calls for... Burns. McGruff Prime Dog experiences trouble. Unbelievable. Over. Wait. Discard previous burn. Superior born f burn formulated. Ace Ventura, pet detective. Please respond if it requires ice. Over. <laughs> what does the committee say? Was this a good burn or no? I, I think he. I don't have a response. <laughs> I kind of want to go cry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> we have to get some burn cream. Mm. Okay, that's a pretty good burn. That was solid. You nailed me. Forgive if boundary overstepped. <laughs> Have been informed. Mildly contentious banter cornerstone of squad com com camaraderie. Over. Yeah, it's fine. Anyway. How am I supposed to solve this thing? It's clearly a puzzle thing that cries out to be solved. Use marbles, over. I'm thinking as hard as I can. You know I like puzzles. I wouldn't be asking if it weren't an emergency. Actual marbles, over. What are you talking about? Trivial, really, over. What marbles? I don't have any marbles. Yeah, you don't? None nearby, over. No! Oops, over. I can't believe Joey doesn't play, like, keep marbles in her pockets all the time. 
We yeah. got the achievement. Na 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 na. Hey you. <laughs> okay, now that we're Jude, I'm going to pass the narration to you hey. because my throat's starting to give a little. Here, Leo. Mm. I have a drink for you. Okay, no, that probably would be a bad idea since I'm streaming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna slam this cannon into the, my mic. No. <laughs> Just fucking bonk. You are now Jude Hardly. And though tonight is apparently the night you've been preparing for, laying so many preparations and countermeasures and counter counter countermeasures against, it seems you've made a rare tactical blunder. The marbles that Joey needs to disengage your strategic defense globe are here in your tree house. Time to call in the lone gunbirds. <laughs> Look at them. Yeah. Friends. Friends. Whoa. Mm. I've already committed this crucial intelligence to memory, but a truly great field commander keeps even better records. Hmm. Nice music. Mm -hmm. Very well done. You're probably the only kid at school that owns one of these babies. But if those kids get stranded on the middle of an ocean of the ocean, then jokes on them until they starve and die. <laughs> <laughs> God. The chamber's empty because you observe proper flare gun safety pr patrol protocols. Maybe you should load it because you've also observed some scary stuff this evening. Gun. Gun. A flail. Oh, uh, we got sticky hand. Ooh. Fuck yeah. I have one of those stuck on my door. It's been there for <laughs> a six months at least. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Only a few of those these are actually liquids, and unfortunately, those are also the ones whose contents you don't precisely exactly 100% remember with total certainty. You're not saying some of them are urine, but you're also not saying none of them are urine. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, it's apple juice. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Bad boy spotted at bar <laughs> And Clinton uh... gives birth to Bigfoot. <laughs> Bad Boy was an actual, like, um, internet cryptid, by the way, a while ago. Mm. A long while ago, lately. This <laughs> thing, talking about an enigma. One day you'll figure out what it does, and why certain shady characters want to get their hands on it so badly. We have some theories, of course. What shady characters? Tell us, dude. <laughs> shady characters. Can't, <laughs> can't talk about it on such an undisclosed line. Here are copious notes on some disrepu disreputable activities carried out by some members that you can only describe as some sort of cult. You've surreptitiously you've been you've been surreptitiously gathering intelligence on them for a good while. You've detailed some of this stuff on your sites, but the really juicy stuff has to stay off the grid. A term you have just coined yourself just now. Mm. Uh, is that all? Okay. Uh, it's a perfect place to store your flares. Well, some of them. It's also where you keep your beeper, but you don't really want to get into that right now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You retrieved the ca your cache of flares you were keeping in your metal chest, combined with your flare gun, their tactical treasure. Yeah. Beeper. Beeper. I demand beeper. <laughs> where is it? Give me beeper. Breath held, hand steady. You carefully load the flares into the flare gun. There's no going back now. The genie is out of the bottle. Beeper. Beeper. We've already got the flares out of there. Beeper. Beeper. Uh. I like these geodes. Yeah. You keep smashing geodes in case they're secretly alien eggs. And if one is, well, you've already had the hammer in your hand, won't you? <laughs> I 
might be time to scan the airways again, see if you can pick up any chatter from the enemy. Yeah, they just seem so toxic, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh... Look at all these faces. You're careful records of the activity of the mysterious figures you often seen prowling around the woods. Joey didn't buy it, but the sudden influx of monsters may have changed your stance. You're... Oh, wait, yeah. I thought it was giving me a different thing, because number. Alright. When the heat is on from the government, you need to send it, and you need to send an encrypted member message while staying off the grid. You entrust it to one of your trained carrier prisons, the Lone Gunbirds. You survey the troops. There's Langley, Bra Byers, and of course, Frohike. He's your favorite. Oh, DFC Frohike, how you adore him. You would cherish the windy flaps. Where's the marbles? There we go. Uh, it said we need red, green. Anything else I can look at? One green and one red marble. Do a quick visual inspection. Confirm the pouch contains. Let's do a double check though, because I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, red, green, and nothing else. Take the pouch with red and green marbles. I see, wait, I never looked at this. Tactical error. Consolidated all marbles in, he, in here in Treehouse to get, prevent attic key from falling to wrong hands, over. Additionally, forgot about doing that, over. <laughs> no cause for concern putting top agent on it, over. Wait, who? Did you get in touch with one of your friends, or? Oh god. You mean one of your pigeons, don't you? Over and out. Cop <laughs> agent. Cop agent. You trust them. Go. Bro hike. Oh no. Bro hike no. Bro hike no. That blows. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for hold up. Unbelievable tragic disaster. Over. Oh. Did you lose something else? Or like someone? Must soldier on, making second attempt now. Over. <laughs> oh. Uh, alright. Are you sure you're. Over. <laughs> Over now, Frohik. Oh. Rest in peace. You take another patch from the drawer and load it with another red marble and another green marble. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Aww, <I'm safe>. Aww. <laughs> yes. Are you all right? Betrayal over. <laughs> Abandonment over. Lowest, vilest, cowardice over. Um. Well. Can't even communicate to true degree of outrage. Over. Likely a jeopardized mission if emotion not suppressed. Over. Uh. Incoming. Over and out. Your hands are definitely not shaking as you pluck two more marbles from their safe, cozy compartments in the drawer and drop them into the depths of a pouch waiting leathery maw. <laughs> <laughs> the song. Yeah, it's so much more uncertain. <laughs> you can do it, Byers. Yeah, Byers. Yeah. Our trusty companion. Our one and only. <laughs> Success. Achievement unlocked. Third time's the charm. Yeah. <laughs> Success. Jesus, Crow. Byers, my boy, so brave, so true, so great. Over. 
<laughs> Are you actually just point blank losing your mind now? It would maybe be kind of a relief after years of buildup, but you could have picked a better night for it. Mission accomplished. Briar's champion of champions waiting for you in kitchen over. <laughs> Why? Eh, over. Oh, Briar's has marbles required to activate acquire a key. Over. Alright, I guess that sort of makes sense. New development, Briar's being menaced. Please hurry over. What? Oh, okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm on it. Hurry, please, Joey. It's all I have left over and out. <laughs> oh, bud. All I have left. <laughs> I can't handle another loss. <laughs> hey, roll. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Stained. <laughs> <laughs> I love these. Oh, I, I see shiny. Yeah. Got magic spice mix. Hey. Hi, Annie. You hear me? Oh, wait. You don't have a No time for this. Pardon me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me a shine? Hey. Tough crowd, maybe you need- oh wait, sorry. Tough crowd, yeah. a little more flash. Tough crowd, maybe you need something with a little, little more flash. You gotta keep his attention. I don't even have daylight. eyes. That doesn't stop the blind creatures. Mm. They live underground. Mm. Jesus! <laughs> Pacifist by ass! Make success! <laughs> I don't think we can do that on Twitch, Nen. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I like the few seconds of silence. <laughs> you got me! <laughs> uh, I, I will say, Leo, that is a good one. Thank you. <laughs> You really yeah. got me, man! You did a good job! Oh, good job. <laughs> Joey, thank you for tactically brilliant seasonings, murder. <laughs> Ryers has payload. Repeat, repeat. Ryers has payload. Thanks, um... Do you know how I might get him down? He seems pretty terrified. Negative. Fire simply has unfortunate mercenary streak. Should respond to enticement. Over. How do you bribe a pigeon? Sounds like a setup for a riddle, or perhaps joke. Over. Bye, Jude. Over and out. <laughs> Who's a good briar? Do you want to? You want some pogs? If pogs are what it takes to get him off the fridge, he can stay up there. There's gotta be something else around here he'd be more into. Old Chinese food boxes? You want Just some kidding. bits? Oddly enough, you weren't sure if these are safe for birds. After the violent, strangled death of that monster, you're a little nervous about just feeding things to other things at random. Maybe there's something safe around here, like bread? Bread-like, at least. I don't know if we're gonna the hand. Uh... Yeah. Bread like, bread like. Bread like. It's a gushers. Mm. I could go for some gushers right now. Yeah. Probably. Fuck, some Captain Crunch back there too. Where do you see that? Red box. Oh, yeah. Birdie, you want some Captain Crunch? Oh, hey, shelf. A single cracker! 
<laughs> All you can raid from this meager cabinet is the stalest, tiniest, worst cracker. God, I could go for really? some saltines. No, you kind of. <laughs> Feathery doofus acquired! Yeah! <laughs> Success! This little fellow, Byers, you think? Yes, you're pretty sure. This is Byers. Gobbles down the stale cracker as you tuck him into your pocket. He's got a little parcel around his neck, which you're fine with letting him hold on to until you actually figure out what you're supposed to do with it. I like how he's still animated in our pocket. Yeah. I'm glad he's small enough to fit. Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay, got the marbles. Do you want me to send the pigeon back? No, nah, we just have huge adventure game protagonist pockets. Yeah. It, you know, comes with the territory. No. Yeah, do they ever have... Sorry. Sorry, I get finished. No, over. Do they ever actually call it our capture log in this game? I don't remember. I don't uh, think yeah. So. We said specific. She... So yeah, she, she said she... Weapon. Uh, Strife specifies his weapons, but she said she yeah. capture logged something earlier. Yeah. Alright. So, in passing, the same homestuck mechanics apply. Mm. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to shout. Just worried. Please protect Byers. His chances of surviving return trip very remote. Over. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Good point. Seems pretty dicey out there. Affirmative. Over. <laughs> I'll just use these marbles or whatever then. I'll let you know how it goes. Affirmative. Good luck, sis. Over and out. Have to go more. <laughs> yeah. Aww. There. Da 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 da. You carefully remove the marble pouch from around his neck and, believe it or not, shove the marbles into the empty eye sockets. You discard the pouch. Big ass marbles. Mm. What an evening it's been. I've had some big marbles before. <laughs> yeah, well, you could have used the pouch. Same. Spin. Whoa. Open sesame. Very cool. You did it! The attic key has been found! You got what you assumed to be the attic key! Yay! Achievement unlocked! Just... Why is it even locked? <laughs> it's, it's interesting how, like, Jude has explored their house they're only enough to know about this and to know about the attic key, and, like, where it's kept and everything, but she hasn't. But well, he set it up, uh, didn't he? I'm I don't know if he set up this puzzle. Yeah, I don't think so. Really? He figured out how it works. I feel like Joey yeah. just stayed specifically out of this room because all the dead mm. shit. Mm. Which, fair. Yeah. Yeah. I don't... Jude is smart, but I don't think he put this together himself, especially considering who their pa is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at least... Eh, whatever. No, he knows how it works, but he didn't make it. Yeah. He just Got explored the their house. Heading back up to the attic now. Careful, may not be that simple. Over. What do you mean? None of this has been simple. It's been downright convoluted. No thing hostile enemy elements grouping grouping serpents massing over. Oh jeez. We'll try to back you up if possible. Remain alert, sis. Over. Always am, bro. Over and out. Yeah. Whoa. -oh. Spaghetti. Ah, uh, fucky wuckies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, that thing looks like it has an actual eye. Hey, wait. <laughs> Damn. 
switch over. This can only be a good idea. Oh yeah, mm. this will go great. Yeah. Nah, boo. Mm. Awesome thing. Spice, it's fine. Uh, go around it. Alright. No some time focusing on them. Bonk it. No. You <laughs> 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 no, no excuses. Loaded. <laughs> Double loading seems fairly unsafe. Sometimes, sometimes the gen general must lead from the front, by which you mean fire a single flare across from the safety of a tree house. Do this again. For cow. Pew pew. <laughs> Little hands. Yeah. <laughs> Small. Hmm. Now what to do? Do I stamp at him? Aha! No. And on the red, no vacancy. Do you like ballet? Very <laughs> simple. Hey, jerk. God, it is a clumsy <laughs> dead car. Huh? Delighted to see ya. Whoa. I think this proves they're not working together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mama said, knock you out. Oh, it comes back. Ooh. I wanna. What else can I do? <laughs> uh -oh. mm. I can all oh, what? Last you, buddy. Yeah. Alright. Ah, so I can click. He's so small. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Joey took a brutal hit. She's down for the count. You gotta find some way to distract those monsters till she can get back on her feet. <laughs> <laughs> you go. You go, kid. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, good. Oh, that is well, not a safe one. <laughs> no, it's fine. Well, you made a distraction, all right, dude. <laughs> oh, far, far. Hey, brother, you good? Signature Sorry. style and flair. <laughs> hey, bro, in the big tree next to the bonfire, you good? I can <laughs> What yeah. are you doing? Those monsters are coming for you. Hurry to the attic. Ah, oh, man, I'm scared for him. I missed you. For chunk. Whoa. Now, what the hell's going on in here? <laughs> Even unlocked. Joey, come in. Please report status. Joey, hello, it's Jude. Joey, are you okay? Joey, please, over. Aw. <laughs> yes, I'm safe. I'm in the attic. Just barely made it. <sighs> over. Locked in, actually. I dropped the key. Yo, but bro, you good? <laughs> yeah, right. Safer in attic than rest of house. He can be retrieved later. Over. I think you were right. The way they smashed through the living room window and the front door. If I'd stayed in my room, I'd be a goner. Separated us with Vanguard. 
to stabilize power. Probe defenses. Finally, attempted entry through multiple points of ingress. Basic siege tactics over. <laughs> Bro, you actually know this shit? Uh. Pick what you feel. Eeny, meeny, miny. Yeah, you were right. Oh, you were right. Wow, you were right. I'm impressed. I guess all those conspiracies you're always talking about turned out to be, uh, not fake? Maybe? Too soon to tell for sure, but absolutely certain, correct, and always have been over. <laughs> anyway, thanks. So I'll just hole up here for now, I guess. Ow. Are you safe in the treehouse? Should you try calling your, uh, friends or something? Didn't want to risk their involvement. Always a gambler engaging soldiers of fortune. But maybe time. Remain secure in location. Ignore object under curtain. Over it. I'm not. I'm not. Well, obviously, I'm not going to ignore it. Joey, please. Over. What? It's a big, mysterious thing under a beguiling, fluttery curtain. I have to at least peek at it. Necessary. <laughs> yeah. What is it, anyway? Data insufficient to determine. Over. Well, I'll let you know when I find out. <laughs> Joey, don't tactic airs and happen. Over. You there? Joe. No. Uh, Ordle, it's really bad idea. Over. Jude, can you repeat that? Lots of static. Joey, pl I. Uh, you t please fleet don't. Go near portal ver Did you say portal? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Ooh, that hand just twitched. Yeah. Cool. Her face looks like I'm totally doing that going near that portal. <laughs> yeah. She yeah. knows it. Look at her face. Well, it turns out you live in a house that has a hand in a jar in it. You must now carry <laughs> this knowledge with you forever. You've left them hanging long enough. In fact, as you stare at the gross, desiccated hand in the jar, you begin to suspect that the time for you to break open this jar and slap an anonymous dead hand against your own alive hand has, tragically, passed. <laughs> the world is in crisis! If only Captain Planet were here, then the monsters could eat him and you could escape while they were distracted. <laughs> hey, leg lamp. Hmm? Yeah. You put this in the attic yourself, because it weirded you out that your pa had a lamp shaped like a woman's leg. Little did you know, he'd soon graduate to lamps shaped like entire women. <laughs> Another victim of Jude's overzealous crowbarring, no doubt. Any chance he gets to... He gets to go prying and jimmying, that kid just goes nutso. Me too, dude. Yeah. I guess that'd be his strife specimens, huh? <laughs> Mm. Or is it the gun? Is it not the flare? I thought it was the flare gun. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, the handwriting is barely legible, and there's no return address, leaving you with uh, leaving with you no more information than you had before you looked at it. No, this really isn't the kind of mystery, the boring kind, where you have to frequently refer to your rigorously maintained collection of shipping invoices in order to make progress. You hate those. Good. Since he got his first best shotgun, this one fell out of favor and now primarily functions as a home to a thick layer of attic dust. Meanwhile, its favored brother is living out a shotgun's daydream in the hands of your pa. There is no chance you are going to pick up this gun, and you certainly aren't going to lock and load anytime soon. It just isn't going to happen. You're in danger! Use the big gun! Oh, time to look at this. Have any characters ever changed their strife weapon? It's always been the same one in the- a specific- like, the same kind. Like, yeah, it's- version, yeah. Same type with multiple variations on it, but... Yeah. Yeah. It seems like once you pick one, you can't change. <laughs> I think- I think I actually read something about it, like, locking in. Mm. When you do your first one. 
Someone got stuck with one that really sucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Disguising your identity and impairing your vision wouldn't really help matters much. You're pretty sure the monsters are going to eat anybody they meet. Batman? 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 Batman. Uh, Guy Fox looks like? Uh, don't know. Vampire? Don't know. You haven't been up here in a while. Your paw sure does keep a lot of weird crap up here. And Boy, that sure is a scary wolf head. Yeah. Uh, weirder than the other crap, that is. Or maybe not. Maybe all his stupid crap is basically the same. Man, look at all these guns. Yeah. Ick, more of his guns. These are antiques and would probably fetch a tidy sum at an auction. But you think the only real perk to their antiquity is it probably means it's been ages since they were used to murder anything furry and precious. I looked it up, the spike details. Yeah? I was curious. Yeah, um, so it does lock in. I think you're able to, you're technically able to get another <laughs> strife card. <laughs> but uh, once you put in something of a certain kind, you can't put anything else of a different kind. And um, you can use other weapons. Um, they specifically says that having a specificist, like having it lets you attack, but um, you don't have to use anything in that specific like weapon class that you have on your strike deck. It's just always going to be easier for you to use something on your in, like that's of the kind in your strike deck than anything else. Like someone who uses a bat could use a crossbow, but it's always going to be easier for them to use a bat. Affinity bonus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically. You don't use guns. These are definitely loaded, though. Your pod doesn't leave unloaded guns lying around. <laughs> dangerous. Or <laughs> hanging precariously in decaying nets, either. Jeez, this is right over your room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. More of his guns? Yeah, yeah. dialogue. Why does he love globes so much? Maybe they remind him of adventure. All the little abstract geological features, the jagged borders of exotic nations, the tiny bumps representing mountains. Unfortunately, whenever you look at globes in school or wherever, they just remind you of him. Oh, he's a sarcophagi. guy. Hmm. Oh, let's go further. Yeah. <clears throat> We're here. Plot, in front plot, of it. Plot, 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 plot. Woo! Plot. Globes. You can't avoid noticing the drape rustling around, although you really wish you could. Better see what's under there now, though, before it gets the drop on you. No matter how much your little brother begs. Yeah. yeah. Cool. What a lovely centerpiece for my attic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of now, broken mirrors. Real quick, what would you guys do if you were Joey in this situation? Do you think you'd look in touch? Of course. So, I'm so <laughs> fucking lootly. <laughs> I'm only human, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. What, I, you wouldn't? Yeah. The thing is, I love my brother a lot, so I would try to wait until he was here, and then I'd make him look in touch with me. <laughs> oh, okay. you make a good point. I would probably have my sister look in touch the thing with me, too. Yeah. If, if possible, I would prefer to... Plus, also, he's out there with a fire, and he's in a treehouse, so I think that would be my priority. <laughs> That's a good point. Who really cares about that a lot less than I would? <laughs> <laughs> the keyhole. It calls out to your mind. Wait, what? You... Key. You picture your heirloom. Key. Get it. Use it. Start it now, now, now. Key. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Key. 
Ted. You have no idea what this is. You don't know where it came from or how long it's been here. Did you know about this? Is that why he really sent you to the attic? No, yeah, that... Said, don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make any sense. He... Did, did your pa know? It looks kind of different from the stuff he usually dumps off here. Feels different, in your mind at least. You... Wait, what? You... You're having trouble thinking clearly. Hmm. Does it feel and look different though, Joey? <laughs> Think about your house really quick. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble keeping your train of thought. How... How long have you been standing here? Mm-hmm. Touch the nose. Yeah, especially the swirlies in the surface. Does it feel different? <laughs> you don't know how to operate this thing, except, of course, to put a key in it and turn it. That seems like the obvious thing, doesn't it? Like the most obvious and necessary thing you've ever known, and we're always going to do, and have always known, and do it, do it, do it now, 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 the key. Do it. Do it. Open the door. Oh, hey, look, buttons. That would probably <laughs> turn on the lights in here. <clears throat> Wouldn't be so ominous. Hey, Joe, you want to turn on the light? You can check out some of these sarcophaguses. These have a lot of sarcophaguses in your attic. Holy shit. Yeah. How is the floor now breaking? Mm. Those are heavy, you know. Uh, if you run down the battery, you have no idea where you'd get more. Better to save it when you for when you really need it. Well, no, you just beating around the bush. Yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yes, geez, wow, yes, you, okay, yeah. You want to do that. Just, yeah, the keyhole. Do it. Do it. You feel like you have to. Come on, use key. You, you feel like you should somehow. Like you were always going to? It's a difficult sensation to describe, even to yourself. But what goes in there? You're really making you agonize over I, it. Go use. Do it. <clears throat> Oh, hey. Whoever animated all of this box. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. Hive swap. Sup. <laughs> Sup. say this is a good point to leave off. Yeah. We're coming up yeah. on three hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucked it. <laughs> huh? Oh, what? Where am me? This is a long save title. Where <laughs> am me? Shut up. Don't critique my save <laughs> titles. I think I will. You... And now uh, we it... have the yeah. space. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. All right. Stretch. Thanks for watching, Hi. everyone. Oh my god, yeah. my neck just cracked so loud. I'm surprised it didn't pick up on the mic. Nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> subscribe for them? more bone noises. <laughs> yeah. More. Yeah, here. Yeah, it's harder with the neck. Yeah.
Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Yeah. Uh, check back next Monday for for me to finish up Act One. Yeah. And then you know after we're done with that, go back to check out Leo's because this was actually his thing. You know, yeah, I'm I'm happens. the homestuck man. This, we'll see. This happens. Yeah. Before, this happened before with Hilux too. This is true, yes. I am the backup. <laughs> with the pro gamer setup. Yeah, with the pro gamer setup. Number one pro gamer, Craig. Hey, yeah. how does it feel to be called a gamer? <laughs> mm, feels gay. There. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, follow for more bullshit. Uh, consider following the Planetarium Twitter, link down below. You can get cool updates. Yeah. I would <clears throat> say follow my other Twitter, but it doesn't exist. Oh yeah, did Twitter did. Yeah, have they decided to give you your account back? They they sent me an email saying, oh yeah, just log back in. You'll get recovery tools. Except I don't. I didn't. What the fuck? Twitter, get it together. I, I log in and just being like, mm, nah, you're still suspended. Mm, mm, how does that feel? Mm, mm, mm. No. It's bullshit. Mm. But, um... Till then, follow the Planetaria Twitter for yeah. updates. <laughs> yeah. Follow that for when everyone goes live, including me and Leo and uh -huh. Nin and Lena. We all go live. Things Maybe. will happen throughout the week. All the weeks, many weeks. Pay attention. Yeah. Uh, or don't, I don't care, I could care less. <laughs> uh, I, I, wait, I need to show off one of the arts so I can say, say, say do the fucking uh, yeah. red bubble plug. There we go. It's me. Hello. Do you like how this looks? Go go to the red bubble link down below to buy stuff with similar arts on shirts. It's very cool, I promise. Yeah. Also follow the YouTube links where if you can see mods. YouTube, a like and subscribe. We'll be doing Homestuck Homestuck after we finish these two games. Yeah. yeah. And also uh. All the links will again be the same because I'm making sure to put these in there now. Yeah. Uh, till then. Uh. Mm. Safe space travels. Care. Safe space <laughs> travels. See ya. Bye.